All right, everybody. Welcome back to Burgundine, the legend of Renarzia. Today we are playing as the Republic of Gamol, and we have some battles right now to get into, and we're going to get into a battle in the forest right now, real quick. Here. All right, so we got this battle to do here. We are actually taking on the Shinobi tribe right at this moment, too. So we got to do a bit of a forest battle here. So just want to make sure that this is working and up. All right, so yes, everybody on YouTube, welcome to Brigandine. If you're a fan of tactical games, this is definitely a game you want to probably, more than likely, absolutely check out. So I would definitely recommend it. But uh, what do we got today here is, um, you know, we got to do this battle. And before we go ahead here, if you enjoy this kind of content, you know, please leave a like, share, subscribe for more, all that sort of stuff. More content, uh, different kinds of content will be up in the future here on my channel. Uh, some older styles of content that I'm going to probably bring back. And so, yeah. But um, we got this pretty interesting battle here. It, it might be kind of tough. Uh, we'll have to see. I don't know how they're going to try and attack us here. I'm gonna. I think I want to set one of my one of my sea serpents out here. Probably play it play it like that somehow. Probably move over here. Yeah, we're not gonna get a lot of evasion with this, but you know, we got to start somewhere. That's for sure. So it looks like they're already coming out to tag us, you know. Uh, I could stay there. I don't really have a healer nearby. Um, let's see here. Where to go with this little dude? I'm just going to pull back with him. Keep him in the forest here. Uh, I could maybe leave that if I just put the unicorn up here a little bit. Might be able to run it with it like that. Dog in the front lines is going to be risky. I don't really have a lot. I'd have to put the sea serpents in the front lines, really, in order to get a better kind of grasp of the situation, I suppose. Let's put the demon over here. Oh, yeah, we do have the giant, too. That's right. We got him. Maybe... This giant's not going to be very good for us in some senses here. Uh, let's put... Uh, just really more or less going to be kind of a barricade here. So really just kind of playing a, playing on that factor, really. I sort of like this position, but I'm sort of a little wary of it, too. Really? Okay, that's as far as he can go. Yeah, moving in forest is really tough here. Very tough. Um, huh. You know what? Let's get back here. Let's try to come back and support this this rear with that with that little one there. I think we're gonna push him a little bit closer. I think everybody else is just gonna have to sit. I I don't know what else to do right now with um, this kind of position besides this sort of thing here. So I'm just gonna have to run with it like this. Okay, so he already shot, though, but he's going to have two more shots, so let's go ahead and do this here. That's a pretty good paralyze. That worked out pretty good. Um, I don't really want to do anything right now. Just kind of, just kind of wait on that. See, the thing is with moving out here, 
Let's see. Okay, so I can move, and I can get back, and I can get a free shot. Alright, that's great. Yep, that was the unfortunate part there. So how's everybody doing today? Let me know. Looks like our front line's going to take a bit of a beating. Oh, jeez. Kind of looks like we're going to be playing a very super defensive position here. And I'd like to get in a little bit further, but... Alright, so I don't really see any heals that they've got. They've got like one healer. We sort of have one healer too. <laughs> Hey, how's it going, Pedro? And so, yeah, everybody on YouTube, thanks for being here. Um, and leave a like if you enjoy this content. You know, I like making this content, but be good to know. Yes! Yes, we got two criticals. We got two paralyzes here, para Pedro. Um, our stuff could go down quite fast, believe it or not. Especially with all the range that they've got. They have so much range, it's nuts. Um, so I might not be able to keep this thing like I wish I could. I have to try to heal up something in the front lines. It's going to be kind of tanking the front lines and... Gonna choose between the demon that's at 45 hit points or the Gigas that's kind of holding the front lines a little bit better at the moment. I think we have to go with the Gigas. Just not sure how that. Uh, maybe I don't have to. Maybe I don't have to because I'll have this guy here to you know try to replace him. Let's. I guess we'll go with the demon here. We'll risk it, I guess, a little bit. Ninety percent chance to solidify him. One, two, three, four. Cannot undo it. Cannot undo that at all. Could solidify him, maybe curse him. 
and possibly do other kinds of magic to him. Might be able to kill him off with a solid, you know. I know, Pedro, I finally got... Yeah, if you're on YouTube, definitely go check out the unboxing video I put up. Um, the audio is a little low, but I think that it, it just... That's a really fun thing, man. I, I'm really happy that I finally got that thing. I was wondering when they're gonna put when I was gonna potentially get it um, dude I've been waiting months for that thing like literal months just wondering when the heck if that thing is actually gonna come through you know all right we're gonna hit Toby with this first Maybe she'll survive? Maybe. Alright, they have a lot of terrain defense here. Let's stone this guy. Okay, wanted to get the curse through first. I wasn't sure if the curse was going to maybe stop me from doing more damage, but... I was going foul. <laughs> this is Legend of Narsia. This is a new game that just came out. I just did an unboxing video of this too. But um, yeah, it's been out for uh, since June. The end of June, so it's been out for a little bit. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I follow your banner. Well, thanks for the follow, man. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. How's it going, Osada? How you doing? I was gonna be on here a little bit early, but I was finishing up my unboxing video, so apologies, I couldn't get on at like 6:30 or so. I was gonna be on 6:30, but I just finished the video. But thank you for the follow. Thank you very much, Foul. And Osada, Pedro, thanks for being here. Gotta try to figure out what I'm gonna do here. So I could attack C team. I think C team is gonna be hard to take down. I think we should try. Let's come out here. Well, I put him in favorable terrain, so if he would get an opportunity. Uh, let's pull him back. Okay, so we got B team to go. Can we move? I need to see if this dog... Oh, good, the dog can move all the way in there. That's what I was hoping for. All right, so we're going to move the dog in here, do this attack, get him on the ground, because he doesn't have terrain that is in a forest. So I'm putting the dog in optimal terrain. So he might be able to dodge a uh, Wyvern hit, but so far didn't quite do that. So can't move anymore. Just kind of have to do it like that. Um, this thing here might be able to do something. I guess we'll do a breath attack here first though, or... All right, so he's pe he's petrified. I just did a solid spell on Toby, who is one of the leaders here. He can't move. Uh, they need four spaces like usual. Uh, follow if you're new to this. Or you're probably not new to this, but you know the four space range you need for a cleanse. Um, that's just too far. So they only have this Pegasus way back here. They can't cleanse him. I can probably destroy him before before they get close to doing anything. Um, but we do have to try to focus down some monsters as well. So you know we're gonna try to take out a leader. Maybe if we can. I, I don't know what we're gonna have to do here. We're going to try to take out at least one of the leaders, you know, 
and then try to work on the other guys and characters here too. You know, hey human, how you doing? How's it going? Uh, well, most of the times you come here, we talk about the Browns, and then I talk about the Packers. <laughs> but uh, how's it going? This is a Browns year. Yeah, that's the. I just saw your name, and then I read your comment, and yep. Yeah. <laughs> so how's it going? So this is their year, hey? Yep, yep. Well, 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 well. What are what are we gonna do? You know, what can we do? Maybe I should take down this wyvern here. I don't know. I'm gonna suffer a lot of damage here. I'm not going to suffer too much damage hitting this thing. And I might paralyze it too, which could be an extra paralyze that you know, could could help us out too. Uh, Pedro, mechanics, bringing it Happy Net Games. You know, Boxing Collector's Edition. Yeah, thanks for that, Pedro. Yeah, you can check that out if you want. You know, um, I know the audio is a bit low. <laughs> I didn't realize how low... I didn't realize how different it was when I actually moved my, my mic around. So if you have a mic suggestion too, I wouldn't mind you know, hearing about that. But, um, mic works pretty good so far. Uh, what's, so here's another thing about this, um, anybody that's new to this game too, is you look up the top right, and I'll just circle this here if you're if, uh, you're just wondering, this actually tells you your turn order, and this is actually based upon your agility. So it's your level and your agility. So if you're the same exact level, if you got one point higher of agility than the other guy or girl, you will be in the higher position. So this can flex as the battles go, but you actually get to see right here what's going on with your turn order. So you don't have to look at the leaders anymore. Um, I would say that if you're going back to play Grand Edition or LOR, that might make you a little lazy, but I'd have to say it's a good improvement here, you know, so that's that's a definitely a bigger, better thing that happened here, you know. Um, so I'm trying to figure out the turn order. So I got A, B, and C going next here. So it looks like they might try to move in and hit him. So I might need something to block my wizard here, Mr. Mua. You see, most of the wizards have this little, have this uh, uh, interesting gown, you know, that they put together. So I can't really block him with this guy, but I can move closer to maybe block here. I might have to put the dog there to do a blocking motion too. You know, maybe we'll do a Geno Flame and just knock out that. Knock that bird out the sky. Uh, looks like I have to push forward because it B team's gonna push in and it's gonna hit my wizard and we don't want that. They had, they don't have any heals close by, so could probably take care of this wyvern too. You know, take care of this wyvern, the other wyvern, knock out a leader, and then see what's left to work with. You know, so I'm just staying there to block. Not gonna do much else. Uh, we got C and B team here. I turned him into a mage, so he's just a basic mage, and he's got some heal spells and all that. Which, actually, the heal spells might come into play here. Maybe I have to do a heal spell a little bit more than a flame spell. The flame spell would be pretty good right now, too. You know, I don't know if that's going to hold out. I might have to do a heal spell more than a, a flame spell at the moment. Maybe. Possibly, I might have to. You know what? Let's do some heals. Because I think we have to do that. Now, has there been any talk of... Did you say PvP? Oh, PvP? I, I really don't think they're going to do that. They'd have to set up a server, a dedicated server for that sort of thing. And you'd have to probably buy the Nintendo... Um multiplayer service whatever that is uh, I haven't bought it yet so I don't know I had I had the switch in the past or not a switch but I had the Wii in the past and I played online but um I think you'd have to pay for the uh, the Nintendo internet the switch Nintendo internet to to be able to do that 
ちに続け So I think you'd have to have something set up like that. You know, in order to have that. Online is like 20 bucks a year. It's really that cheap? Holy cow. My PlayStation subscription is quite a lot. When I, when I turn on my PlayStation 4 internet stuff, it is no joke. It's kind of expensive. So I haven't, I haven't turned it back on in a while, but I think at some point I'll probably do that when I pull out some PS4 games that I. I'm gonna like or enjoy. Of which now the new PS5 game is out, so the, with the PS5 game out, you know, it's, um. Or, no, wait, no, it's not out yet. <laughs> it's coming out at some point. And I don't know what they're gonna do with the new PS5 game yet, but. We'll kind of get to see that. Oh, they killed it off in two hits. This is a tough battle, I have to say, because mo the centaurs. The goblins, you know, most of the leaders there, they prefer the, tr the forest train, so they have a plus 20% evasion, plus 20% accuracy. My characters mostly don't, so I'm in, like, really bad terrain here. And so they have, they have a serious advantage over me. So trying to pull off a win is going to be quite hard, just to say the least. It's going to be a bit difficult. Um... I really can't even get him out of the range. I can't get him out of the way. Could I heal him if I put him over? I mean, I might be able to heal him. Fifty-one percent chance to hit. That's pretty low. That is pretty low. That's not very good. We might have to lose this guy, unfortunately. Let's just do a splash attack. We'll we'll cover our butts a little bit. It's a little bit of uh, it's not much, but I'm not getting damaged, and I'm doing some damage to her. She doesn't heal every turn, so you know. Uh, what you guys saying? Expo Live is sixty bucks a year plus more for the Game Pass. Yeah, I don't even have Xbox Live. I just have the. I I only really have PlayStation. Four for online stuff, and I, I have to renew that. Um, just gonna be considering the interviews I've read with the producer. It looks like a GE version of the game would possibly have PvP multiplayer. Well, if they were gonna do something like that, I, I'm a little bit back and forth with the whole idea of how they have, who attacks what setup. I, I think. Having the, the higher combat score attack all the time, making sure that always works. I don't know if I agree with that. I'd have to test that a bit more, just to see how I feel about it. But um, I think uh, if they were to do it, I mean, uh, that might be okay. But I think they'd have to regulate that, because if they just had a multiplayer that... if yeah, I don't even know about the multiplayer for Switch. I know in the past that, you know, there were so many hackers on the old Wii version of the game that... You know, stats were just... Your stats and records were... You you couldn't tell. Like, you didn't know if somebody was cheating or if somebody was legit. You really didn't know. Unless, like, the game just comes out and somebody has 99999 points because, you know, they did whatever. But, um... Like, which map is harder against AI? Vupire or Kulapa? Uh, I don't know. Maybe this one's harder, but it depends on what they have. This one might be harder, but I think the the new Hadrian might be harder. It's known for being at least subpar, so maybe that's why they hesitated to implement a multiplayer. So they don't really have any security features over it or prevention features. So if that's the case, then I don't know. Um, okay, we got that there. I know there's people that modded the old game and all that, but, like, I played against a lot of 
A lot of hackers in Mario Kart. Lots and lots and lots of them. I had to learn how to beat them in Mario Kart, and I actually got quite good at that. That does take a lot of energy. I really don't like where she's sitting. I want to sort of move her closer. It's kind of vulnerable, though. Uh, I don't know if this is a good idea. All right, let me see who's going next. A team will go after I go. Really nobody else to silence, so... You know? Yeah, human, these things do take, they do take some time. We're, we're not putting time limits on there. We could try to play like a speed game, but then I'd have to have like, you know, the same connection speed that they have with me. And if they don't have the same connection speed, it could take a while. But lately it's gotten a lot quicker, so the newer ones, like everybody that comes to play usually has a pretty good internet con connection, because you're connecting to me, and I've got like 300 download, and I don't know, like 30 something upload, which is still pretty decent, which at some point if they get some fiber optics here and upgrade, then I'll have a little bit better, but it's still good enough, and when I play with, when I play with uh, some of the guys there, they don't really have any problems unless they have really, really low internet connection speed, and then, then we have problems. I mean, they have problems because <laughs> they're trying to, they're trying to see what I'm seeing, and I can't. Okay, so I could hit him for free. You know, how's it going, Pringer? How you doing? What's that silly face you put in there? Oh, you got Luca. How'd you get? How'd you find a Luca? You found a Luca. That's interesting. Well, you know, some people, you know, some people that's a little tough, but a lot of people do seem to enjoy it. So, a slow play chess game, you know, is is kind of what it's all about. Um, should I pump another curse into him, or just do? You know what, let's do this. Okay, so I could do just a basic fist attack, which will definitely work, you know. Power fist, he's not going anywhere. I went from 6% to 100%. <laughs> 6 to 100, you know. I uh, might have to pump another curse into the dude. Let's do some magic here. Uh, am I at exit blast range? No, I'm not. I think I'm. I think at this point I have to go with a. I don't really. What, do I have anybody else to go after this? Okay, I got B team to go. So B team could go. I have another... I have a flame spell with him, you know? Oh, you got it today too? Oh, that's cool, Pringer. I just I just popped up a video of, of unboxing it, so... I, I just did that on YouTube. So, a little late here for streams, but... Flame is better. Four green orbs. Yeah, might be. Because I was considering cursing her. You know, doing that, and then I could just do two flames. Looks like B team will come up next, so maybe a, just two flames is all we're gonna need for this, and we can just kind of move on. We don't have to worry about too much. Maybe a Geno flame, and then like a regular flame. B team, 
And what else is going B team? Not much else. If we have to, we could probably like throw something else at it. Just trying to think like hit her too, you know? I'm just I'm kind of hitting mostly his team, you know? Yeah, it, it might. I am hitting C team as well. So I'm hitting B team, A team, and C team. Mostly A team, which I'm just trying to focus on, but this might help the kill. I hope this works because he's down to 143. I don't know if a flame spell is... A Geno Flame does this much, but this is with a level 21 Mua. Now, we're, we're possibly considering a level whatever, you know. As a kid, I loved the A-Team. Yeah, the A-Team was pretty cool. <laughs> I, I guess we'll go with the Geno here. I think this should probably work too. Because I want to set the curse on the Archer here. If I can, I could just go for him right now. But cursing the archer might be a, a little more beneficial here, possibly. I think we're gonna have to heal. I think we're gonna have to heal up uh, frontliner here. We can't let them get into our front line. We gotta we gotta heal up that one there, you know. Okay, I hope this is enough. Because I'm going to go after her. I could try to knock this thing out instead, but I want to I wanna get her. It's going to be hard to take her down. I don't really have a lot that can hit her unless she's in range. And so I think we'll try to prep her for the next attack. The TV show or the movie? I think I saw the movie, and I think the movie was okay. I think the movie was... I think they made a movie. That was some time ago. But, uh... TV show. I like the TV show a lot. I should have moved the dog in first. Why didn't I do that? I forgot about the dog. There we go. One hit kill here. Boom. Done. <laughs> Sorry, Toby, but you had to go, man. You're in my way, bro. Hey, I got a Pegasus out of this. That's fantastic. We actually got an extra healer for this team, which we kind of really do actually need. That's an actual need we have for this team. All right, let's put this over here. Well, he's going to hit me, but... I think my percentages go up by what? Seventy-seven. Wow. I thought I'd have a better percentage there, but apparently in the forest I have a better percentage because I'm chaining him together. So it looks like this is a better way to go. You know? Halo for sugar. That would help. That would really help. That it would. Okay, so we got you at full. We still have to deal with you. You can't... So here's the thing. Like, certain things could take down my demon. Archer shot and this other thing. So maybe it will get into play so we can try to possibly take down the centaur. 93% chance. That's a pretty good chance, you know? Bradley Cooper, Liam Nelson... It was a good one. Oh, that's right. Yeah. 
Yeah, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Oh, wait a second. Do I have to stay here, though? I don't know if I have to stay here with that guy. I don't know if we have to do it like that. I'll just pull back to there. Alright, we're going to make it hard for them to get in here to kill off the demon in case that's really what they're going to try to do. Okay, so maybe the, de the demon will stay alive now. Possibly. Alright, we chained this guy in here too. I could go after her. 60 something percent, but we got a kill shot here. So we probably should take that thing down. You know. <laughs> I think a lot of us are a lot older, considering we're playing this game 20 years later, you know? <sighs> so yeah, we pulled off some pretty good tactics here. Unfortunately, we got this side that's a little bit iffy with our defense. Okay, you're going to go after my mage, are you? I guess I'm going after you too. <laughs> I guess we're going to do it like that, <laughs> you know? Oh, they crit the dog. They crit the dog. Oh boy. Oh boy, she's hurt. She's hurt. How many more of that you got? Oh, you got one more too. Well, I guess we're going to put everything into her now. She's going to go, and that's going to be that. I can't I can't think of another way to do it. That's any better than that. Let's put everything into her too. I know we're not doing as much damage, but she needs to get taken down too. Uh, I could do a Geno, I suppose. But I'm thinking maybe a... I don't know. She doesn't really have that many hit points. A Geno actually might be okay. Wait, we don't have Geno. That's right. Ah, oh, I keep thinking we got Geno the whole time. We just don't. <laughs> don't call. Alright, so... A-team on TV. You're a kid. <laughs> yep, I watched the A-Team on TV when I was a kid, so... Oh man, we're just so low. Can we get in range for a heal, maybe? We have no heals left. We are kind of boned, aren't we? Dukes of Hazard. I watched Dukes of Hazard too. You know, did get to see that. <laughs> Your 28's definitely nope. Yep, probably not. Probably not. Should I do another Geno? Is Geno a good call? Maybe Geno's the best call. Let's see, we're going B next, so. B has another flame, or we could just maybe do a venom. Oh, let's start with this. How about we let's do this? Venom, 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 venom. There we go. Do that. I'd say we're all a lot older here, considering just considering things. I didn't think he would do that, but he did it. I thought he'd get her close to death, but I was like, ah, we'll level one of these up. We'll, we'll make we'll make one of these little goblin mans actually, you know, work for us, considering the terrain we're moving around in. All that. Solid. 80%. You stay right there.
<laughs> Foul might be the young in here. I don't know. Oh man, they fainted me. Dang. We're gonna have to play some risky maneuvers. Or maybe I should bring the dog back here. Wait, whose turn is it next? Okay, B teams to go. The B team, do we have any other things over here? Nope, B team's too far. Except for that. B team's not too far for that. Uh yeah, I think B team could get over there. Let's come over here, take the dog. Gotta cover her. <laughs> we paralyzed him. Perfect! And I can't really get around. We could try to go to the castle, I suppose, but we were... I, you know, alright. We'll, we'll just get around. I'll take a free swing because we won't kill it. Get some experience, though. So this is another thing, Foul. If you attack a monster that is unknown now, they will not counter back. So you don't have to worry too badly about that. That is actually... Some people say it's a good thing. I kind of like the, the older style of it. Like, you know, they would fight back if, you know, they were uh, kind of hurt. You know. But it's probably a good thing in some ways for you. You know, you don't have to deal with uh, counter damage from an unknown monster. Uh, he is paralyzed, but he could be he could come out out of paralyze at some point and then that would not be very good for me uh we got that guy there i should i should probably heal something i could do some damage but i think we should probably heal something i don't think anything's going to get onto this side over here so we don't have to deal with it but we should probably heal i mean I guess we'll heal the snake up. It's kind of a good option. I should heal her, but I don't think anything can hit her right now, so go ahead and heal the snake up. If we can keep some of these snakes in play, that'd be nice, you know? Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, she still has a lot of magic left. We could still do another breath attack. Which, I know you're like, another breath attack? Well, I'm hitting two monsters here. We could slowly just tear this whole army apart and come out with very little casualties. Very likely. Let's go for a basic snake bite. I could charm something and then knock her out too. That is another option. Uh, I think this thing's too dangerous right now, just being all uh, on its own, you know? But moving faster, time has a way of moving faster as you get older. Sort of does, doesn't it, you know? Kind of does. Okay, so we still have magic left. Muak could get a level here. I think Muak should maybe try to get a level. Or the demon, maybe. Ninety points of damage. Can it possibly do ninety points of damage? Not quite. Close, but not quite. I 
Okay, this guy's kind of broken free. I think we're gonna... You know, it's actually okay. It's, it's okay. It's very okay. <laughs> it's very, very okay. Mm. Do a curse. We could do a flame spell. Could put it into a venom spell. Venom would kill that thing off. Venom would kill this thing off. Let's do it like that. I level up after battle. Thanks to XP. Okay, I was kind of hoping we didn't poison her, poison it too, you know. Okay, this battle's turning out pretty well. You know, I did name the title Seven Seas or High Seas or something, but uh, we will get to some water battles soon, I believe. Try to level up some plants here, you know? Unicorn or demon can kill the wyvern? Human, that's because our perception of time depends on how much you lived for. If you're a 10-year-old, one year is 10% of your life, which is a lot. But you're 50-year-old, then one year is just 2%, which is not that much. Yeah, but what if you're immortal, Pedro? How old are you then? Maybe you're a kid. <laughs> I like to get around. 85, 100. 85, 100. Uh... Ooh, that thing's kind of low. Let's not mess with. Let's not mess with a good thing right now. Okay, just just wait, I suppose. Uh, I, I will be out of the blue, but how about we go sit on the castle for a turn? We'll come right back, heal up a little bit. How high is is Sugar right now? Is she She's proficiency of 4. Let's not mess with that anymore, okay? She's proficiency at 4. She doesn't need much to go up in level. We'll um take out this monster here. You know? And uh yeah, age is definitely You maybe think of Interview with a Vampire. <laughs> That's a good movie. That's a pretty good movie. So if we take out the flower, we can. That's okay if we do. If we don't, we don't. He gets a heal. I get a heal. Good, good, good. Seventy. What do we got left? Another venom spell. That should work there. So I'm just doing as, as many little tactical things as I can to try to kill everything off here just to saturate the battlefield with experience because it's, this is one of the best ways to do it. You know, this team really hasn't... It, it fought a little bit, but if it can fight a little more, you know, a little more the better. You know? Being immortal stuck in a child's body would be rough. I suppose it would be. 
Let's see if the demon can take this thing out. Almost. Alright, we're going to take the dog in first. If the dog can move out of the way, that'd be nice. I don't know if he can, but... Oh, and he had to paralyze too, didn't he? That he did. I'm starting to wonder if we're going to knock her out before turn 12. <laughs> I'm getting this weird feeling. Okay, dude, we really can't do much with you, but just move up a little bit, I suppose. Okay, we took care of we took care of that. Level up the dog a little bit. Yeah, cred blood. I'm freaking out. <laughs> yeah, you'd have to get a switch for this game. So if you have a switch, you can easily get it, but switches they've they've made them, so they're not easy to you know, to come by. I don't know why that was the thing, but I guess that's what happened with that, you know? But if you like Brigandine and you're a pretty avid player of this, definitely going to be right up your alley. She's got 31 experience left. Alright, Magic, Frost. Good. Not a kill. I could get her a kill, but she's going to go up like that. And then she's got, what, a thousand, a hundred eighty experience. She's going to go up one more level right away. So what I'm realizing is having like certain characters with growth levels here. So I, human, foul, if you're new to this, this right here, this, uh, and Osada, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that this is good for... The I don't really need to retreat her, but you know there are potions and stuff, you know. Rune power growth, so yeah, the rune power growth here, the growth is right there. So your magic pool growth, and then uh, growth rate is the rate at which. She grows in levels. Shows a D. We are going up quite fast, though. So, um... You've done the same thing. Well, that's cool to hear. That's pretty cool. Um... Uh, don't you get a extra experience at the end of the battle? Yes. You get the 200 experience, like usual, for winning the battle. So she will actually go up to another level... So it's a little unfortunate. It's not too many levels. If it's two levels, then I'm a little bit disappointed. If it's three levels, I'm really disappointed because I want to put her into maybe a different tier, maybe a different job and grow her a little bit. But if she's growing in if she's growing in Enchantress, that's not so bad because she'll get more MP too. But if we could get her into a Cleric Stance, get her some heals, a little bit of diverse, um, diverse stuff going on would be pretty helpful. All right, so... I guess there's really nothing left to do. Let's take it out. Let's move on with our day. You know, got a Thunder Spear. That battle turned out very well. I'm very happy with that battle. Uh, th this is why I like taking a Mage Team into the forest. You know, because they're all mostly green. Fire spells are just... You're just gonna just do a lot of damage. You know, take a bunch of Mages in here. Let's say you got some Dragons and such. You know, not going to have very good accuracy, but if you can plant your, your stuff right, you can do some stuff. I'd also probably recommend coming in here bringing maybe an archer, maybe a samurai, or uh, a swordsman, I mean. You know, here, the Arabian kind of swordsman. The new swordsman for this game is more of an Arabian swordsman. They have more of a scimitar. They have a more of a Middle East look to them. Same thing with dancers, too. 
they have that they got little jingle bells and they got this arabian kind of jasmine aladdin type of uh outfit so they went with more of a middle eastern look which is pretty interesting you know because you're used to seeing everything in full-on japanese stuff coming from japanese you know countries like that but they they you know they they kind of changed that around a little bit so i don't know how many people are happy with that choice or not i think it's fine i think it's fine it's interesting it's a little different it's not the same thing exactly it's the same thing that, as far as like being a samurai goes without the eye slash the only thing that actually got the eye slash is those little goblin guys I didn't think about it till now, but they actually have a ranged Aya Slash. So the little goblins have the ranged Aya Slash. They're very squishy, though. But... Oops. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> That's the wrong button. They... I'm using a wired controller now, and they actually... They actually changed the, the locations of the buttons, so... Like, here... This is my picture, this is my home, and up here is the plus and the minus. Whereas if I play as the other controller, it's switched. So it's totally different. You know? Enchantress barred with sugar. Maybe. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll, um, maybe we could give that a try. I kind of saw that happening. I'm okay with that. I'm going to leave that, that country alone there. All right, we got uh, got ourselves a little little cutscene here, so let's let's go ahead and read this. Several seasons had come and gone since President Alden Uzala had fallen into a deep coma. Only his daughter, Eliza, aides who had been with Alden since his youth, and the old grand warlock, Mua, were aware of this fact. But Eliza and Mua had already discovered the truth behind Alden's mysterious condition. So, you mean the president is already gone? He's been dead this whole time? That is correct. I believe the only reason President Alden's body still draws breath is through the force of his strong will. So he's dead, but he's breathing? Such is the unfathomable power of mana in the hands of a truly exceptional knight. Well, yeah, I guess he's in a coma. <laughs> I can't believe it. Selza and I found this truth hard to accept as well. As we came to pray for his recovery, we came to realize President Alden's true intentions. Sugar, my father. The word that if we announced his death now, the country would be plunged in chaos. President has always known that Miss Eliza was the only one capable of following in his footsteps. He also knew that any rune knight pure of heart had already recognized Miss Elza 
as the reincarnation of the Mo'ang sisters, founding goddesses of our country. Founding goddesses of our country. And yet, the council members, it seems like every meeting someone else is naming themselves the next president. Yes. That is why we must refrain from announcing President Alden's death until everyone in the council has acknowledged Miss Elsa's place as his successor. Am I feeling confused about this, or is is it just that they're gonna tell them he's dead, or did he die, or is he still in a coma? I guess we'll have to finish the dialogue here. And will you don't cry otherwise I'll start crying too. Sorry, Sugar, however, I'm not crying because I'm sad. Chichiは私が一人前の騎士と認められないうちは自由に死ねないんだな。そう思うとエルザ様。その時に。He won't be free. Sure, you come to understand one day, Sugar, just how fortunate we are to live with the freedom of choice. Okay, so he's still alive, but they're going to say he's dead, even though he's in a coma. It <laughs> must be kind of cramped. I guess so. It is the very same almighty will that will not grant President Alden peace. As the daughter of the President, Eliza grew up with a number of restrictions on her life. And while many had high expectations of her, many also regarded her with jeal envy and jealousy. This desire to free her father of the burdens of this life was not something for others to bear. For Eliza, the only moments of freedom she could recall were from her time on stage as Jill, the ballet dancer. What's this all about? Mua and Kane? Isn't it nearly powerful enough? Practicing a bit of div divination? I taught you as a boy. Surprised you even have those cards on the battlefield. In Kane's hands was a set of enchanted cards that Mua had given him as a child. The cards could take something from the mind's eye and have the image appear on the card. With all due respect to Elder Mua, it is rather ridiculous to think that I would be fortune-telling at a time like this. I'm simply using the cards to organize the monsters at my disposal. <laughs> I see. 
I would not have thought to use them in such a way, though. It does seem like something an egghead like yourself would do. Excuse me? What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> Light on my boy, tis, it, tis only a jest. Now let's see. Well, the monster in this card looks ferocious indeed. A favorite of yours? Well, this one is quite strong. How so? That's a secret. Sure sounds like something an egghead would say, eh? That's because this monster is special. I'm saving it for when I become the president. And pretty to boot? Why you? Listen, right now, we have all come together to fight for Miss Eliza. If defeated, you'll lose much more than just your presidential ambitions. Uh, I suppose this is true. Kane was just as talented just as talented of a runite as Miss Eliza is in her own right. Yet despise his grace and poise, he would often take things too personally and lash out like a child. Well I couldn't help but find this side of him endlessly amusing. What are you two up to? Playing cards? I'd love to join around. Don't be foolish. This isn't a game. Ken was just telling me how he's willing to use every card at his disposal without hesitation for you, Miss Eliza. Huh? Huh? No, not true. But besides, what fool would waste their precious collection of monsters on the likes of her? Wait, Kane, oh, there he goes. <laughs> it seems the egg is tougher to crack than I thought. Huh? Whoa, whoa, here she comes, and oh, oh, there he goes. Darian and Kate. Once a month, a physician would visit the blackbirds at their living quarters. Without regular doses of the Anmana herb, adult Barretts can only live for a mere 12 seasons. So, the physician ensured that the country's investment into these skilled knights was not wasted due to a forgotten dose. <laughs> I'm gonna get a drink. I'm gonna go ahead and auto this, so... I guess read it for yourself. Which you're probably doing anyways. I just like to talk over the... Yeah, I like to talk for the voice, too. Yeah. あたしはね、今月<笑> いいかもよ。あ。冗談だよ、冗談。私ら死なないためにこうして<笑> 
さっきから何読んでんのあそれってエルザ様の遠征軍の募集じゃんダリアン応募するつもりこの遠征隊においては何人も平等で自由なり真に我らガイムール共和国の誇りを守らんと立ち上がろうとするルーンの騎士よ名乗りを上げよかあさすがムールエンジェの生まれ変わりと言われるエルザ様だけあって進んでるよねあダリアンどこ行くのちょっと待ってよダリアンが参加するなら私も付き合うよフフフフフフフフフフフフフフ Well, I don't know. Kane has a blue eyes, a white dragon. Darren's vocabulary vote nay, vote yay. <laughs> yep, go for it. All right, so we have to keep going here. We're going to be pushing in here quite hard. Um. I'd like to get that dragon, but I might have to replace a couple things. Let's go ahead and、uh, let's go ahead and do a class up. So I want a Phoenix. I know we could go Simurg, but Phoenixes are so versatile here. And I have to say, if you're new to this game too, you can go with the Simurg, which is basically essentially going to the Holy Griffin of old without a wing attack. All it really can do is take down something that prefers mountain terrain. And it is quite powerful. And it's, it's a white orbed monster, much like the,、uh, the Griffin of the Holy Griffin of old, but it's,、um, it's more built for power. You can get a flame spell out of a Phoenix, it'll self heal, and it can do the a i r y heal too. I kind of、um, I kind of want to go to Phoenix. So, really, in this game, there is no more、um, Holy Griffin like character. It's just, you know. One of these others. So, but yeah, get an airy heal. It's a good idea. Alright, so let's get rid of. I almost like to level up a giant, but we have so many healers too. We might have to <laughs> we might have to replace or let go of a healer here. Which I might let go of a healer. So we've got one level there, three levels there as a Temple Knight. She is level 22. I don't know if, when or if she'll class into something else. She's just a Rose Knight right now. We have really just those Pony Team. Hey, how's it going, Vertigor? How you doing? Um. Pedro just asked a question. Darian's vocabulary. Vote yay or nay. What do you think? What do you say? Let's see in the comments down below, I guess. So let's check out our items. Let's see if we actually have. Oh, we got the hatchet. We got a spear. Hatchet, spear. We got a couple other things, too. Hatchet and spear. Nobody here can equip that. Eye pole. Um, I don't have an eye pole thing. I don't. 
I really don't even know how to do that. <laughs> if you can help me out with that, I'll, I'll definitely pop one on. I could probably put that in there. I have a lot of other things though, but I don't have that. At least not right now, I don't have that. So we kind of destroyed a lot of Shinobi at this moment. Um, got an axe and a spear. Could do a class up here. Is this a 20 point thing or is this a 15 point hearing thing or 80 to 95, 15 point sea serpent. Let's do that. That's kind of what I wanted. All right, let's move. Fifteen point there. How are you doing, Vertigor? We finally got a Goblin Knight. That's the first one I've ever leveled up doing this. The first one. I thought we had the points for that. We don't kind of have those points, do we? Have to switch with, uh, I guess, a forty here. Then we're gonna have to switch with uh, something else, I guess. Because I'd like to level this guy up too. Maybe we should leave that there and switch with... Oh, I know what to do. But that does that, and then we probably need... Nope, not that. A 60, 70... Put you there, and we class you up from there. Working from home means playing. <laughs> Vocabulary is just yes or no. Oh. Oh, that's a rhetorical. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll say yes, I guess. I got some new emotes here. How about I say... That. <laughs> I, I... I was thinking about having cereal, and then that showed up. That's crazy. <laughs> Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I was like, yes! Cinnamon Toast Crunch! Okay, what do you think we should do with this? I'll, I'll leave this as a vote for you if you want to vote for this too. Pegasus or Nightmare? I don't know which one you think is better here, but let, let me know in the comments below. Pegasus or Nightmare? We have to do a classing of uh, Sugar. She needs a class up into something. Uh, he's pretty good there. I think we'll class Sugar up maybe. We could probably do the Bard thing. I, I don't I don't think she's going to have any heals, but we... we um, We got another unicorn, which I might have to switch out with a dog. Just considering a couple factors here, I think we probably have to switch out with a dog right now. Which that's a little much. Wait. Oh, that was already a Pegasus. I. Oh. Oh, that's right. It was already a Pegasus. Um. I mean, maybe we'll just do that, you know? Pair with Mua. Yeah, maybe Nightmare's a good idea. This team is still leveling up. A Pegasus is good. Nightmare to pair, so I'm getting conflicted ideas here. Uh, we could go with a Nightmare. We have a Pegasus with one of them. Um, I just have to reorganize this stuff here, if we even can. We, have, we need to get 15 points, and I don't know if that's going to happen especially we got five points on top five points in the bottom I don't think we can do a nightmare at the moment I'd have to kick something else off the team and everything else is fairly well leveled up I don't really want to I mean I could kick this for the dog 
but I'd, I'd like to also level up a giant too somewhere if we can well, maybe that might not work Okay, well, unfortunately, we don't have a giant, but our dogs are quite leveled up pretty well. We got a better sea serpent. It's looking pretty good. We're going to class her up into, let's put her into bards. We got some Geno Thunders going here. Uh, we'll also have... Frost Spells. So I was thinking of Frosted Flakes, and they gave me that emote, which is quite interesting. Okay, so we're going to get to keep that. Maybe she could be like a minstrel overall, you know? Maybe she'll be a better Geno Thunders and all that. Um, so we got Axe. I don't know how many Lizard Man we have. Oh, we do have a better Lizard Man somewhere else, so we'll keep that for someone else there. This team's going to be quite good. This team is... This team, uh, we worked very hard. We worked this team very, very hard. We lost quite a good amount of monsters here. 45 to 55, that is 10 points. That should be doable. That might work out pretty good, honestly. I do believe so, too. Prof of 2... Let's grab a phoenix here. How many points? We got 60 points. Let's get a phoenix here. This is nice. Very nicely done. We'll get a phoenix to go. All right. So I think the phoenix would be better off on this team up here. We got to switch for 20 points somewhere. I don't see how we're going to accomplish that. then again she is a lancer and she could use the phoenix too let's put you up here so we can grab some more stuff man we lost like a lot of stuff on this team here that was a hard battle to come through wasn't it got 55 and 195 points to work with do we have a revival stone yet no we don't 55 do we need healers I think that was our problem. We didn't have enough healers here. Okay, so the 55 will be the unicorn here. You know? And the 195, that would be... 150, 100... I could get two dragons and a unicorn off that. Or we could just get a whole slew of little goblin dudes, and that would be funny as heck to do a bunch of wave attacks all over the place. Considering the tankiness that we have, maybe a bunch of goblins would be hilarious. I think we'll get another unicorn, and we'll just fill it up with little goblin dudes just for funsies. <laughs> we'll just do it like that. <laughs> Yeah, unicorn and a bunch of goblins. How about that? See something different. Not the most powerful, but... That was kind of a terrible unicorn there. Oh! We got a, we got a Man of Miracle Goblin immediately. So we got... Two. That one was okay. I don't know if you got to see that so fast. I kind of clicked through. Three, four, and five. Just enough. 
Okay. Well, you're probably like... <laughs> he's a tank. It's right here. <laughs> the tank is right here. It's Bergbold. Bergbold is an exceptional goblin tank. You know? <laughs> so he's going to have to hold out with that team. Do I have a... Do I have a 35 or 45 I can replace there? Um, well, she is the healer. She's the healer, so... So, I guess we'll do that. Now it's a little tankier. I'm sure it'll work. <laughs> yeah, so we got the unicorns here. I don't really need a unicorn here because I've got the phoenix heal now. But um, that'll be fine. I don't think positions here, where I put positions with monsters, really counts anymore. I don't think it's even a, a, a matter of... Because I press R and L when I'm clicking through guys, and it just takes me to some random character. I don't I don't think the game has any particular script to it. Uh, at least it doesn't feel like that. So I don't really care about like organizing them perfectly anymore. Um... Cards Hatchet, give it to you, the Lancer, Thunder Spear, her three command range is my doubt. Yeah, yeah, well, they'll have to stay close to her, you know, and she's going to stay, she's basically, she is just a healer, so she's going to be staying in the back lines, so she'll stay on one side in the back lines and all the goblins will probably stay around her near her and they're going to be flankers so she's going to be in the back so is everything else that they have everything else these other two teams have will most likely be in the front so it's going to be hopefully a paralyzed team we'll see if that turns out to fruition but i wanted to try something interesting here and we definitely are going to get something interesting if most of them die then we'll replace it with something else but <laughs> <laughs> I think this should be I, I think this should work out you know it, it's possible that it's gonna work out so all right we did up that team I don't think we did we check this team yet oh no we didn't oh no we didn't we didn't do that so I could do this I could do this I could do this hold on we need to get rid of some stuff here I might get rid of that. We have a lot of tanky stuff here. We've got... How to stack this part here. I think we'll... Something like that. We have a lot of things to level up. This team is going to look very good. Very good. 15. 80, 95. That's 15 right there. And we switch this one with this one here. But we don't really need a lot more healers. Although healers would be exceptional. A couple of unicorns is good or if I got a phoenix that's good enough too. Um, that's quite well. Get a nightmare here. I think that'd be pretty good for there. Alright. That looks quite nice. Uh, should I try to fit in the... Should I try to fit in the level 5 guy or should I not? That's the question. I guess we can. What do, what do they have here that's 45 that, that might be better than him? Well, I could get a dog and a protect spell, maybe. I already got... We have a lot of tanks. We have a, we have a, a quite plethora of tanks. Maybe I should get a dog and... A hairy fairy? What do you say? What's the call? Should I replace? Should I replace Mr. Mr. Um, Iridalum here, level 5, with a 
extra hot dog and a hairy fairy. Because I could. And then I would get maybe an extra protect spell for my knight and extra dog to do stuff with. Or should we work on leveling up this this guy into a mithril golem maybe? What's everybody say? If you want to give me an opinion here, like really quick, like in like 10 seconds, just yay or nay. You know, go forward with switching this guy out with, you know, some hitting away and a protect spell. Or we need more meaty tanks for this team. But what do you think? You know, because we this thing could throw a rock too, and it could hit. You know, you know the accuracy is not great, but definitely he can go front lining. You know, wherever. Any ideas? Still thinking about it. Well, I was thinking the same thing I'll say. I was thinking of switching him out. I know he's level 5 and all, and if they don't use him, I might get him back. But we could probably... Wait, that's 55. Hold on. Oh, we're we're just off. We're off by two. I thought we had enough for that. We're just off by two. Welp, I guess I could get a Harry Fairy instead without the dog. You know. We'll go for the Harry Fairy. Maybe they'll give us a miracle. Maybe not. I don't know, but. A protect spell for the knight out in the front lines, tanking like crazy. Oh, that one's just got awful. Let's get a different one. That is... The, the, oh. Oh. No, thank you. One more, please. Oh. Oh. One more, please. Okay, let's not let's not do Groundhog's Day here. Let's let's try to get a good one. Ugh. Okay, intelligence is okay, but I don't care about intelligence for that thing. Come on, Pedro. Come on, everybody. We need some luck here to get a Mana Miracle Harry Fairy. I am the magician. <laughs> I am the magician. And also thanks for the for the luck too. <laughs> I just click my finger and like that, man of miracles come to play. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I've done this before, OCD. I don't know if you saw this the last time. So the last time I clicked my finger, it happened like that too. We got the man of miracle there. So, well, I guess thanks for some of the luck, you know. Um but uh, we could probably put two Harry Fairies on our team, I guess. Well, you know, we could. We've got... We have another level that will probably come up pretty soon here, so maybe we'll not do that. Because we'll have to get rid of it anyways. Possibly, you know. Um, I don't know. Possibly. One more is okay. I. It's just when this guy levels up, he's going to need some points for that. And I don't have hardly any points to cut for 33. Enough MP for two protects in level one. Let's see here. Yeah, I... Protect to 61. Yep, yep, pretty much, yeah. I have to say the Man of Miracles are one of the ways you need to go, really. Especially for like a hairy fairy or something that requires magic because If if you're gonna level up one of these guys I mean if you don't have the if you don't have the mana to do so don't waste your time But if you have extra mana to do so it's a good idea to do this because then they can actually grow and You can get your react spell and possibly a protect spell too at the same time once you get them a little bit higher Otherwise if you have hardly any MP it just it's it's really tough to make them work out well, you know. 
So get one more fairy, then then ditch him later. I I guess I could. I guess I could. I I feel feel bad for ditching all of them like that, but are all these really bad or were they actually kind of okay? I don't I don't think any of them were any good. Leave some spare RP for upgrade. I was kind of thinking that too. Um, we could go for another one, but I think we need some. We're gonna need some stuff for an upgrade, and then we might actually find a new monster that we might need more MP for as well. So maybe we'll just kind of sit on this one here. Also, yeah, you got a good point there. I think we might sit with that one. Yeah, if 20 MP for a Man of Miracle rocks. I'd have to say, if you're going to go for Man of Miracle with the low count stuff, like a Goblin, uh, a Hairy Fairy, you know, something like that, definitely try to go for Man of Miracle because they're already very low with hit points and MP as it is. Try to just, like, get that as high as you can. Now, you might not get a Dragon or something like that all the time. That That's kind of harder to get. But lower tiered monsters within a certain range, they even show... Like, they've been showing this on some of their tweets that it's easier to get a Man of Miracle with them as is. So you might as well give it a shot, you know? So, I I think we'll just leave it like that. Um, I could bring one in and drop it off, but I probably won't be using it too much. And so, I'm going to be leaving him behind. But, um, you know, that's okay. If they want to have it, they can have that. But I don't want to give them any more Protect spells. So I'm going to... Do this, and we're just going to leave our position here. So this position, this is stronger than Sidorsa. So we'll be able to attack here quite well, quite easily. They won't be able to attack us there. See, this is the reason why I think if they did a multiplayer, not to be upsetting or anything, but if I could guarantee attack from Alternia to Sidorsa, and they can't attack my free castle because I'm higher po higher points than they are. I'm not sure if that's the best strategic value going forward. I like how Grand Edition was kind of random. You'd have you could attack them, but if you didn't have a place covered, they could slip a knight in there, and then you know random chance could happen like that. Um, I think in reality, it would make more sense if it was kind of random because if a team was already en route to attacking another castle while another castle is coming to attack you and you left that location, it's it's likely that you could move into an empty castle while you're moving into their empty castle quite easily in, in a, you know, quite normal combative kind of way. You know, I wouldn't see anything wrong with that. Um, should we get troops for him? We probably should get some troops for him. How about we do this? 125, 125, 125. So we do 60. Be 140. Not be too much there too. I like snakes though. Oh, it's terrible too. Let's get one more. <laughs> I'll get one more. The odds of getting one depend upon their cost. Yes, Pedro. They did do that. They did showcase that. And um, Pedro and I were doing all the work into it. And Pedro and I both figured that out with, you know, the percentage. It was like 5% chance while we were playing a game before they showcased that to us. So we both did the work to, to, to actually figure it out. I did a lot of the summoning. Pedro did the calculation. And, uh, Yeah. Yeah, Pedro, we did that before they even showed that to us. Before they even showed it to us. So what Pedro's showing you with this Twitter thing, we already did that before it was showcased. It was like we were already ahead of the game. <laughs> we were ahead of the developers of the game trying to help. <laughs> Which is quite funny. Cool, very cool, but also kind of funny. 
All right. Got 170 points to summon there, too. Ooh, 170 points. Well, if we do 150 and 135, that's 185. That would be too much. So, 170 would be one dragon, one, one Fenrir. That'd be 110. And we need 60 more points. So we could do one of each, which would almost fill it up, which I'm okay with. Could do a little bit of a mixture here. I'm actually more about versatility with monsters than I am about like stacking a particular kind of team. Like I have to have this many dragons here. I have to have this many of this. I have to have this many of that. If I have a little bit of some different stuff, I'm okay with that because there's times where this monster is gonna outdo this other monster and it's like, oh, hey, I've got this monster that can outdo this other monster or get away with it. There we go. We got a good hot dog there. Look at that. Look at this hot dog. We got a mana miracle hot dog for this team. Man, that's some good luck tonight. That's some good luck tonight. Okay, dude. Can you please, please get a knight, bro? You failed, like, each time you went out. You know, I'm gonna move him over to a place where he can actually possibly I'm gonna move you over here man we're gonna work together on this alright did we did we do everything right I think we got everything set I think everything's set I don't think there's anything else to do Probably go and do an attack then, right? It's proficiency there. I'm leaving him like that. She is a hunter right now. She's gonna get proficient and level up. And we won't have to deal with that anymore. I think everything's set. So if you're watching this on YouTube, thanks for watching. This whole time we um I may have to retitle this video. <laughs> we didn't really get to do very much sea battles here right now. I thought we were going to, but we didn't. Um, but, um, level 9 couldn't do much anyway. Yep. All right. So, I guess it couldn't do much. I'll leave that Gigas there just in case. All right, so everything's pretty well set. Let's go ahead and push forward. All right, so they actually lowered it a lot. So what we're going to do here is we're going to play, we're going to play, this is a kind of a strategic way to play this here that I thought about. MM Hot Dog, that sauce, yeah. So if you attack the Sidorsa, wait for them to attack Alternia and then attack back. You keep going back and forth and you got a high enough CP value, like after I've already done all this stuff. That basically means that I can cover, I can cover this whole territory as defense with just one team that the other armies can't do anything about. As long as I keep winning, I can cover both these spots and they will never be able to take over my territory. So that's a strategic uh, value there that might help you out going forward. Um, I don't know what we got here. We got, uh, got a dead knight, another dead knight, one that's alive. So she's a rogue. So she's not very good in the, the forest, but we got Talia and that, so this is going to be a tough battle. Still. I think this should still be a tough battle here. Um, which way to go? I don't think it matters. Rosalio is a, is a really weird, kind of tough place to try to take over. They could come back for you, they could take over stuff that you've taken over too. 
You know? Alright, so we're gonna make a defensive move here. This team is just gonna play defense for a bit until we can route out Shinobi. Norzalio, we might be able to knock down, you know? And uh, hopefully we'll get to buy some more hot dogs later on. So he just moved there. So we did all that. Let's go ahead and save her up here. Let's savor the flavor. I don't know, I just, I just felt like saying that. <laughs> no reason, I just make random, I just make random quotes here and there. Why is there fog here? Did they put fog into the game that I... I don't remember there being fog here. Is this the season for fog? Do you guys see this? There's like... There's this fog around here. See this fog here? It's like... It's all froggy around here. It's like... Kind of here. Have you seen this fog before? I have not even noticed that. Now it's not there. It just disappeared. I wonder if the fog just randomly generates in spots. Okay, whatever. Let's go do some battles here. We have probably another battle to do, and then we'll have to switch it out, you know? Hmm. I don't know. I might put him on a different team if I have to make a full new team. We get an extra knight, we make a whole new team. I probably will switch some knights out. So, Avenir might get switched for something. But, you know, I like to switch in, like, a really good leader with two really not so great knights. Just so that, you know, they've got some leveled up stuff already. Moving in with another team so it's not so bad. You know, a lot of other players will just literally stack their best teams, their second best teams, their third best teams, and not really care about their last teams. And I've always had a lot of problems if I've ever tried something like that. So I try to mix teams up just so that one team has some decent knights or a decent good knight and decent monsters mixed with some beginner knights and monsters going forward, you know? Showers? Oh, look, it's back. It's really foggy again. It's not foggy up here, though, where Lanster is. It is foggy over here, though. It's foggy here. Yeah, it's only froggy in some areas. Check that out. Alright, so we saved it up. Let's get going. Let's do it. Invasion time. Now, I do have the game set up so that we can actually witness them attacking each other. Even though it's this on hard, it's actually quite rare. I think the last video episode I did, there was only two attacks in the entire continent in my episodes. So it's actually kind of rare that they fight each other. But, you know, if you get to see that, that would be something to see, you know? This will be some great experience here. If I could level this team up really well, we're going to split this with some other stuff, you know? As foggy as English straight. Are you asking as is foggy in English? Oh, as foggy as as an English straight? Ooh, look at this dialogue. Sir Kane of the Republic of Gamal. I am Emma. Course match. Course mage. Priestess of the Holy Roman or the Holy Watchman of the Man of Celestia. A priestess, huh? Who is a servant of the rune god strayed so far down the wrong path? Fools all in Mana Celestia. <laughs> She's talking some smack to him. <laughs> For a man who was once considered as a candidate of the presidency, you seem awfully content as second best to Elizabeth. Oh, 
だからカインそなたの国をこの手で倒して一番手になってやるの She's got some good ambition though As a priestess, I've always been second best, so I understand how you feel. This wow should defeat your nation and become number one. Is that all you got to say? Yeah? What? Then allow me to tell you two things before we start fighting. First, I'm not fighting to become number one. I'm fighting for Kobo. Second, if you fight only for your own self-interest and leave, my sword has the power of glory behind it. Personal interests could never hope to stand against it. This cane guy is kind of a bossy figure, but... You know... He's almost like a... He's, he's almost like the Vinard that never was. You know how Vinard, possibly, you know, everybody left and Vinard kind of took control, or at least a lot of people did, because they were worried about, you know, his performance. As as if Vinard didn't get to take control, and he became Cain. I don't know. But foggy as the English straight. Is the English River? Maybe not as foggy, but maybe it is. I mean, we're looking from a world map view, so the world map view might not be as thick as um, pea soup as it really is, you know? Yeah, I'm going to have to change the title of this video. <laughs> I thought we were going to fight more in the, um... I, I really thought we were going into Morelva right now, but we're not. We, we literally just did a bunch of forest stuff. I'll call it the high forest or the high trees instead. This felt like a Vinard versus Drist kind of convo. Hmm. Maybe a little bit. If you ever... If you're actually like a decent, genuine fan of Grand Edition and uh, Legend of Forcina, pit Dillard against Iria, and you will laugh your butt off as to what they say to each other. Especially if you're kind of a dry humor kind of guy like me. You probably will. Probably will. Not many people actually showcase that or really know about it, but... Iria versus Dillard is hysterical. They're both kind of like the same caliber character, so they both, you know, portray the same demeanor, which is pretty funny. <laughs> it's really funny in my eyes. I think it's hysterical. It's not, it's not much dialogue. It's really not much dialogue, but it is... I think it's, I think it's done very well. Like, they really... They really thought about that, you know? They only have two knights. This is going to be a complete rout. They're going to have to spend all of their monsters to stop me here. It's not going to work out very well for them, though.
Yeah, we could try. <laughs> did you did you figure it out, Pedro? <laughs> did you figure that out finally? <laughs> you probably knew about it, but <laughs> it's pretty hysterical, I have to say. <laughs> Yep, yep. If you've seen it, it's a pretty good. It's pretty amazing. Mm. Oh, I should have brought the dragon forward. Yeah, I should probably have done that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was the one that I did. You are my liege, Lord. Hey, how you doing? Thank you for that. <laughs> Storico, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. I have to do some of these things, you know, with the, the sound effects sometimes, just so, it, you know, if you, if you really want to get my attention and to wake me up, that's, that's a good way to do it. If I will be on vacation at the end of this month for about 10 days or so, so I might have Raging Paul do some streams while I'm gone. I don't know. We'll see if he's up to that. But if he's he, but if he falls asleep while he's doing stuff, you can do stuff like that and wake him up. Because <laughs> he'll wake up. I'll set it up so that it'll it'll you know go. But uh, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Um, we have to figure something out here, don't we? Yes. You know? <laughs> That's fine. I'm I'm in my thought mode of, as as far as how I'm gonna set up my attacks. So if I go quiet, it's because I'm trying to think about where I want to set everything up. You know. So, don't worry, nothing to worry about. <laughs> But um, this is Brigandine, Legend of Renarisia, as you probably know. It's a new game that came out 20 years ago. Legend of Forcina was out. So, you know, we got basically a brand new game to play with. Oh, thank God he missed. I I need this archer right now. I need him for reasons. Hi. So, you know. Since PSX version, it's my favorite game since... Hey, that's cool, Storico. Yeah, this has been my favorite game. Well, the Grand Edition and the LOF have been my favorite game for a very, very, very long time. And uh, now they got this game out, so... I don't know. 
this game is kind of tying the old game as far as like favorites for me because there's a lot of new good things in here there are still things about the older game that I like a little better but you know so far so good which is kind of nice they probably saw that I grounded that centaur I'm trying to focus I'm gonna kill the centaur off so they're probably like well he's gonna kill up the centaur so not much we can do about that all right they just they just set me up I'm gonna knock down the pins here how about we do that let's just they set me up for a great bowling strike and I'm gonna knock down all the pins Holy word! I'm sipping on holy water. I think that's how the lyrics go, don't they? Saiko no shiki o misete kureru. Epic is as epic does. Boom. And I had a breath attack lined up for him too, but you know, I was like, okay, just let me take the front line there. I'll go for it. We'll do it. We'll do it. That's a lot of stuff left in the front line. There's a lot of stuff there. Should I go after her? Well, I got five space to I move. I follow so. your banner! Thank you so much for the follow. Thank you very much. I don't need this extra stuff, so we'll just knock it out. Not this team. Thank you very much for that follow. Now, if I could get a kill on Emma here, Nani. if I can. Oh, let's do this, let's do this. So, as you know, or I don't know if, if you know, but if you don't know, weakness is pretty much a guaranteed for most things, except for like end tier bosses kind of stuff. So, a dark unicorn is a nightmare. So dark unicorn's nightmare here. And um, we're going to weaken her so hits damage will do more damage. It's a guaranteed thing now. It's more like playing this game instead of like focusing on like buffs, you want to focus more on debuffs. Like a nightmare is kind of a better opportunity in a lot of ways. Just because of all the extras, you know, that you get because of the um, the debuffs. Wait, are we in forest here? And you gotta look out for the train. It's a little tricky. Like, look right here. I wanna go right here, right? I wanna go right here. This is where I wanna send my... my uh, unicorn so I can get the forest bonus, right? And you can see right here, I'm moving from forest to prairie. So that is not forest. It looks like I'm going to forest, but I'm not. So you have to actually look at where you're going sometimes. <laughs> Which I think that's kind of a normal thing to say, but... It's like, I kind of thought I'd get some, you know, stuff with that. Uh, the gins, the gins still exist. The gins are now elemental, so it's more of a Gaelic, Irish kind of understanding of it. So it's, they are now right here. This is the elemental here. So it's a white elemental. You can get white, black, red, blue, green. You can get all the uh, all the kinds of what the gins were. So it's no more kicking up a pot and splashing the face with some water or whatever. It's like you're 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 blowing a breath. So we'll zoom in here so you can see this, and you get to see the attack here with a holy element. So that's what that looks like. 
And that's that's basically that. So she's down to 200 points. I don't know if Venom is going to do it. Probably not. Let's move a little bit closer here since I'm just an archer at this point. Okay, that's a little bit stronger. Nope, just we'll just wait right there. Avenir, do you have a holy word that could connect? Maybe take her out? Wait, which one's lower? Two, five, three sixty, and three forty. I guess we'll go over here. You know, do it like that. Jins can cut. Oh, yeah, and that's true. The the elementals now can counterattacks. They're way more versatile than they were beforehand. Way better than they were beforehand. It's it's quite a good improvement, I have to say. Okay, we do have Holy Word. I think that could work. Good. It will connect. Um, yes, this is a Nintendo Switch, so you'd have to have Nintendo Switch to to pull this off. <laughs> Guess he's just gonna get a kill anyway, so all right. We're gonna try a little tactic here. I'm gonna see if this horn attack will lower her down enough that we could um, get a holy word kill with Avenir, you know? Hey Jake, how's it going? How you doing, man? Alright, I think this will work. Holy word might take out Emma. It will take out Emma. 12 hit points, so we'll level up Avenir. So our mage, who was previously a bishop with holy word, is going to get the kill here, and on Cowboy Brigandine, this is how we do things. <laughs> but thanks for being here, everybody. It's a lot of fun to, uh, to play the game, talk about it. Um, I've already been through two basic LPs. This is my third LP here. So this is uh, Republic of Gamal. Anybody that's kind of new to this right now, we're playing as the Red Faction. So he got some good experience there. One level, you know. Um, yep, Pedro's, uh, Pedro's, <laughs> you're on the ball, Pedro. <laughs> He really, Pedro really is with all, has all the answers, doesn't he? You know, how many nations in the game? It's, uh, still Elmechia. I would say people probably would consider this Elmechia. I would almost consider it as far as like a nation goes, come Elmechia. Not exactly the same story-wise, but versatile leaders, versatile monsters, very versatile. And it's actually a little bigger than Elmechia was beforehand. You know, I'd have to say nation-wise, a lot of things are still kind of the same purple, very much like the purple of Iskar's Empire. Manislesia is very much like that, with the knights low rune control, you know, very hard to level them up. Compare their knights to other knights, they're not as good when you compare leveling up other knights to Manislesia, it's just they don't really compare too well. The leader Rudo is like the old LOF Zemeckis, just like a flat out boss will just, you know, just take people down, cut them down. He could be considered like a boss every time you face the dude. Um, Holy Gustava, I'd have to say, is probably like the new Norgard. You know, they're they're of like a black color or gray color, but they're kind of like Norgard in their whole bloodline thing. You know, the way that they act. Um, Norzalio and Shinobi, I feel like they cross a couple lines as far as like position and stuff goes. Um, I'd have to say Norzalio might resemble Leonia a little more. That's contestable, but I think I, I still have the feeling like Shinobi is kind of like the new Carleon, although with holy magic instead of like versatile magic by Kai, because Tal Talia actually starts with a holy word. I think she's the only one with like a, the widest range spell in a game. Um, but yeah. So we got that win. 
you know, I was going foul. So we got that win. It wasn't too hard. We got some good levels there. Avangir leveled up, you know, a little bit. What about Cater? You mean Kane? Oh, Kador? Kador? Ah, oh, that's a good question. I'd have to say Kyle is the closest thing to being like Kador. Because he does heal up too. But he's like a holy kind of like Kador. Yeah, I'd have to say he's probably... Well, what does everybody else think? You know, that's a great question. I'd have to say Rudo is definitely in the Zemeckis line because Rudo is, is a powerhouse. Absolute powerhouse. You know, and um, just like the old Zemeckis was, you know. <laughs> Kador is now a big winged beast. How's it going, Spikers? <laughs> you bought your son the Switch for his birthday. Can I play this on it? Yes, you can. Oh, the Switch Lite? I think you can, yeah. I don't have a Switch Lite, but I would have to say probably if you can play any other cartridge game or any other downloadable game, just check out the look in your light and look in the um, look in the uh, uh, the shop, the eShop. Look in the eShop in the light and look for Brigandine. See if you could download it and play it. If you can, then you probably should be able to. I think probably, you know. Yeah, we'll add more to uh, to the Trig to the Knights of Trigaria, right, Jake? We got more to that. So, I believe you should be able to. I do. I don't think there should be anything different about it. I guess it's just you don't you can't put it on a screen. You can't put it on a big screen. I think that's the only thing that's different about that. I don't have a light though, so I can't give you all the info info on lights, but I just tell you what I what I've heard, you know. Um well, if you look really close to the screen, if you if you use it like a VR, you know, they, they have the digital VRs and you have it like right in front of your face. Like they have the digital VRs in the future. You got this screen like, ah, <laughs> just screaming at your eyeballs. Then uh, you'd probably be able to see it. I don't know if I could do VR. I, I'd have to... I, I, I can't I can't do phone games. I, I did that for like a year or two and my eyes got kind of it got kinda of hard to to do that. Okay, while you're on the battlefield. Ooh, that's interesting. We actually got some uh, dialogue between the two here. Go ahead and read it if you want. Weird followings. <laughs> I don't think they're weird. <laughs> but if you think they're weird, I don't know. Um, I've been playing Brigandine for a very long time. And I do a lot of different kinds of streams. Mostly strategy games. But I will play some fun games here. I did uh, Tabs just this week, which was pretty hysterical. It's a pretty hysterical game, you know. Uh, now I know I'll play that system more when he will, because he'll have no choice. <laughs> yeah. I haven't really... Cult classics? Yeah. A lot of, like, classical games that uh, that I think are, are pretty good. I'll play them. I have Battle Brothers, and I did play that a little bit. I think this past week, or was it last... Maybe it was this past... Maybe it was this past week here. But, um... I'll have to play some more Battle Brothers later on. Maybe when I get done with playing up tabs a lot, then I'll play some Battle Brothers, you know? On Steam? I don't know when they'll do that. If they'll do that. They might do that, but we don't know. You know, Battle Brothers is on Steam. I have that game. The new version of that. I'll have to go over that. Um, I'm not going to play it on the Insane Expert mode again, because that is just... I like. I, I've looked at it. I'm only hitting with 20 to 30% of my hits. Most battles, it's or, or if it's not that, it's very low. It's under forty percent chance, and I'm and I've I've got chances of sixty to seventy, and it feels like we're I'm barely hitting. I feel like I'm playing Front Mission Four. I'm getting a hundred like a, a ninety nine percent guarantee, and I'm missing five times within that one turn. It feels it feels very weird. So I'm gonna play with the lower setting. Maybe they change the 
stats, as far as your probability of landing a hit goes, on the expert mode? I don't know. Yes, I've, I've done a co-op stream of Tactics here. It's on YouTube if you want to go check it out. Uh, another streamer that um, does some games too, he uh, was with it. That was pretty hysterical. Though. We had a lot of fun with that one. Tactics is a, one of my favorite games to play. I'll probably play Tactics by myself at some point here. You know, I gotta get more into... I gotta do some more Final Fantasy games too. I haven't only... I've only done very little Final Fantasy games here on my channel. Which some people are really into and some aren't. You know, I'm more into the like... I need to situate the battlefield how I want to. And I can paint my own picture with that. Which is kind of why I do this. I like this game because it gives me freedom. Freedom to choose where I want to move, what I want to move, and why. I can mess up all I want, or I can do the best moves however I want to do it. And uh, total freedom. Like, I'm not locked into doing one particular thing. You know, that's the reason I like this kind of stuff. It's because it's more like a chess and, and that kind of style. Like, And then with the multiplayer that they had, the Grand Edition, that was so much fun. And I'm going to bring back the multiplayer again, uh, probably the fall. If it's later than a fall, then probably the winter time we'll go back to. And we'll play some versus mode multiplayer on my channel, which I've done a lot. And you'll see the rest of the, uh, the results on YouTube as well. But, um, yeah, this kind of game is something I like a lot because so many new games are so very linear. Go here, do this this way, do it that way, make sure you do it right, don't mess up. Make sure you do it this way, you know, don't mess up. You know, you have to do things this particular way. You know, you got to use this spell. You got to learn how to do it this way. You know, it's it's very like kind of constraining. You know, this game, you could take a bunch of fire stuff against another bunch of fire stuff and be very tanky, you know, and not bring healers if you want. Or you can, you know, try to pit the right element against the right element, or try to just set yourself up to go for a full kill on something and not worry about all the elements. I mean, there's there's freedom with what you can do, you know. Hey, thanks for that, Pedro. Yeah, there's the playlist there. That was uh, Hill Home, myself, and Raging Paul. We were playing Final Fantasy Tactics together. It was a lot of fun. If I get to do some LPs with Hill Home again, that'd be a lot of fun. I don't know when he's going to have time because, you know, he's playing a lot of games. He's playing this game, too. And he's going to play some Battle Brothers, too. But, uh... If we get a chance to do that again, that would be a lot of fun. Because it was... I had so much fun doing an LP with that guy. It, um, you know, I also did a LP with uh, Valkos, too. That was some, that was a long time ago, though. I think that was three or four years ago. But uh, Hill Home with... Tactics. Uh, we, we played this whole... Batman theme. I was Batman. He was Batman. I was Batman for the Dark Knight Ramzan. He was Batman for, um, you know, for the other main character there. And it was just kind of funny. We were just cracking jokes all the time. And the fact is, yes, Osiria, it's got. You know, that's the reason I like this too. I also like um, Age of, uh, not Age of Empires, um, Dynasty War Dynasty Warriors Empires, or yeah, Dynasty War Empires, or where you could play the strategic factor of the map, and then you get into the battlefield and you play the action version of that. But this game, you're playing right now. This is considered, this would be considered tactics or tactical placements where you actually are like maneuvering your guys around I guess more like sort of like an XCOM kind of way which I haven't played that game yet I've seen some of it but this is tactical but when you're looking at the map that is strategy strategy encompasses everything within a tactical mind frame you know yeah so far I did like a couple with streams I might do it by myself you know at some point in the future here, maybe with just Raging Paul, but I had a lot of fun, like, doing a co-op with that. That was a lot of fun. And we played the newer version uh, on my 
channel too. That. So. So yeah, that was pretty cool. But uh, I also play Front Mission games too. Which Front Mission is pretty cool. And hopefully, I'll get to do some Front Mission soon here. And we'll get into that again. Now there are some front mission games that I'm not super into, but basically three and four are kind of my favorite. I just did um what I think it was front mission one just this past year here. So I got through the whole front mission thing. Front mission one, but front mission three and front mission four. I was kinda of hoping if if Hillholm wanted to play a game with me, I was kinda of hoping it's either gonna be Battle Brothers or Front Mission 3. Because we could have a lot of fun with that. I know Raging Paul wants to play Front Mission 3 again. Front Mission 3 is his favorite game. As far as front missions go. Front Mission 4 I like better because of the tactical advantage. You know, this person, this mo this Wanzer links up with this other Wanzer. And depending upon where you have them set, they'll do counter chain attacks against somebody else in a very web like fashion, which can get quite complicated, but I, I kind of like battlefields that are a bit complicated. <laughs> you know, as far as like where you get to decide where they're going to go, you know. Brigadier is more like Total War. I don't know if I played Total War, but um, I like this whole setting here. Oh, and if you didn't know, they're going to be coming back out with a King's Bounty. If you're as old as I am and you've played Nintendo games from long ago, they're coming out with a King's Bounty for Nintendo Switch. I don't know when, but I'm going to get that and we'll play that too. Just like this with hexagonal positions. Although in the past it was literally up and down squares, they're going to make King's Bounty with hexagonal positions. And they might have already had one at some point beforehand, but they're coming out with Switch version of that, which would be really cool to see. So, I'm going to go ahead and get that, too. <laughs> Paul only likes them because of robots. Yeah, that's the um, that's the running joke we have around here. But um, I asked Raging Paul if he wanted an Amish robot made of him. He said no. So, I went ahead and made an Amish Paul without the robot. And uh, you can play with that if you want. But, you know... <laughs> Paul's like, ah, I get why it's called Haymaker. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, nothing against Amish or anything. There's plenty of Amish people here in Wisconsin, <laughs> so they're, they're they're cool. I've actually drawn I've actually drawn up some uh, structural plans for them uh, for one of one of their jobs they had to do some time ago. I don't know what kind of Amish they were. I don't know if they were Mennonites or what kind, but I could tell that they were. They were happy for the plans, though. We're building some kind of pole structure barn. But yeah. Wait, what's the hardest one? Hoshigami? Still the hardest one? No, don't do that. Ogre Battle March of the Black Queen. Yeah, I keep getting people suggesting Ogre Battles or Tactics Ogre. Tactics Ogre or Ogre Battles? Which one do you think is better suited for my style as far as how this goes? What do you think? As I get a lot of suggestions for a lot of different things, but not sometimes... Some things don't like fall within my my category of of likes, and uh, I guess I'm a bit picky. <laughs> I'm a bit picky with what I want to play. <laughs> Maybe that's not a bad thing though. But I mean, maybe. Let's do this. I don't think it's bad to be picky, though.
Tactics Ogre down. Wait, what? Tactics Ogre down by the original Final Fantasy Tactics game, so it plays very similar. Done. Oh, okay, thanks, Jake. So, Jake says Tactics Ogre because it's very much like Final Fantasy Tactics. Ta Final Fantasy Tactics is one of my favorite Final Fantasies. One of my highest ones. My, my favorite's Final Fantasy VI, and I'm probably underneath that is Final Fantasy Tactics, and then Final Fantasy VIII, Final Fantasy uh, XII, and Final Fantasy I kind of fall in somewhere after that, you know? I know Final Fantasy is a great game, and I know a lot of people like it, but I played Final Fantasy VI, and I think Final Fantasy VII got the funding and the money they had to make it as good as they did because of Final Fantasy VI. Now, you might disagree with that, and that's okay, but that's my opinion on that, and I think that kind of holds true, potentially, because Final Fantasy VII is the first game to become a big polygon game. You know, where at the time it was like all distorted polygons, but it looked cool, you know? And I think they had the budget to do so because of the sales and how well Final Fantasy VI did. Now, Final Fantasy VI was competing with Chrono Trigger at the time, which, in a weird way, like, you know, they were both from the same kind of company. Like, they were kind of going head-to-head -head with some things. And I really love Chrono Trigger, too. Chrono Trigger is one of my favorites, you know, and that's a, another part of the reason why my name is the way it is. And why you see a lot of Chrono Trigger stuff coming up is because of Chrono Trigger. But as far as like a Final Fantasy series goes, I think Final Fantasy VI did very well. And Chrono Trigger and Final Fantasy VI were like some of my favorite games growing up with. You know, that's kind of what I grew up with. Other people ask me about Pokemon, but I, I didn't grow up with that. I grew up with Final Fantasy VI and, and, and Chrono Trigger and that era. And with a lot of the Nintendo games and all that, you know, that's what I grew up with. So, you know, if you haven't checked out Final Fantasy VI, you maybe you want to. You might want to. I would definitely recommend it. Um, so, you know, I don't know what everybody grew up with, really, but I think some of you did tell me about some of it, but... You know, it'd be interesting to know. I know there's a lot of people that are a bit younger than I am, and they grew up with a lot of Pokemon, a lot of um, Yu-Gi-Oh. You know, I see, I've see i seen some Yu-Gi-Oh on TV, but I didn't really... Never had any of those cards. I grew up with, with baseball and football cards. <laughs> mostly, you know. <laughs> so that's what, that's what I had, mostly. Take you Brett Favre cards. And, you know, Daryl Strawberry and... Uh, you know, a lot of different baseball cards. Now you're like, where? What do you find that stuff? You know, I tried, I tried looking to see if I could sell some of those cards and barely get any money off some of them. I just, I don't know. You like six is the best. The characters are great, and of course Kefka. You had six on your phone. What, when I looked at 6 on the phone app that they made, it the, the, the way that they designed it, I didn't like it. The graphics I didn't really care for. I think a lot of other people were kind of into that. Though. It still has the same story. The story is fantastic. I think the story is great. Um, some other people complained that the story, there wasn't enough story, but you're literally looking at 12 to 14 characters to build a story with. So you're going to have a little bit of dialogue and story with some. And, you know it's going to kind of rotate a bit, you know. They all have a story. There's no serious one main character. It sort of starts off with Terra as the main character, then it switches kind of to Celeste as the next main character in the World of Ruin. World of Balance is Terra, the World of Ruin it's Celeste. And then you kind of pick up characters from there and you can kind of you can kind of sort of choose your main character at at, at almost any point in the game, which is kind of cool in that sense, you know. It's like, well, Cyan and Umamaro were like my favorite characters. Also, Setzer was too. You know, Shadow was definitely like a, a favorite of almost everybody's. Shadow was pretty cool, you know, but you had to make sure you understood like how to get Shadow for the second one. Otherwise, you kill him off. And then, you know, <laughs> I won't spoil it if you haven't played Final Fantasy VI, but um, Edgar was one of my favorite characters too. But when I played with uh, Raging Paul a lot growing up, he got to play as Edgar more so. so I played a Cyan Garamande, 
and Umamaro, which Umamaro you don't really have to do anything. <laughs> you got the Rage Ring especially. You know, you don't have to do much. But, uh, yeah, yeah. It's a good game. It's a very, very good game. If you want to, like, meet the predecessor of why 7 got as much fandom as it did, and, and Final Fantasy 7 did great for its on its own for what it did, too. No doubt. But they, I think they got a lot of the funding because of Final Fantasy VI. That's kind of what I think happened with that. You know, because they... It was one of the first games that came out with full polygons. You know? Full development teams for that sort of thing. Beforehand, it was all very, like, 2D artistic kind of stuff. You know? So... Yeah, that's this man of Miracle Dragon. You might just kill it. I don't know if I'm going to go for a capture. We might just go for a kill. I don't have a charming team here, so... I don't know if I'm going to worry about that. I really can't get to Rubino too well here. There's not much that he has, but I think we'll go for the kill here. I probably shouldn't have put that golem there to begin with, shouldn't I? <laughs> so I'm going to burn through him, but it's not too bad, though. It's not too bad. It's, like, yeah, it's not that bad. Rookie cards are, are the only valuable cards, is why I have a ton of rookies from 80s. You do, Jake? Oh, that's good. Well, you might have to think about selling some at some point, because after some point when nobody's really watching it anymore, the value is going to go down because people aren't as tuned into it, you know? So, I don't know. Maybe sell... All right. I mean, you don't have to, but if you wanted to try selling one now, try selling another one a year from now and see if the value has gone down at all, because I tried to sell some cards that I thought had decent value, and I could barely get any money for them. And I know they weren't, like, all the rookie cards, but they were still decent cards. You know, five bucks, seven bucks, one was, like, twenty bucks. Which I know that doesn't sound very very much, but I was thinking they would have good value, and the people wanting to buy them from me were like, I'll give you a, I'll give you a couple bucks for this. I'm like, I think I'll keep it. <laughs> you know? Every character's gold. It's Rubina. I think Lena has charm. Does she have charm? Oh, I have to look. Mad from finance. There you are. Mad from finance. Why doesn't Lancer have snow when it's more north than Druig? It's a good question. It's a very good question. There's fog there. I I can't. I don't know why. Climate. Climate change. <laughs> I have no idea. I think you're right, though. They probably should. <laughs> okay, we have a charm spell. What's this, um... Intelligence 72. What's Leon's intelligence? That's really... That's the kicker. That's gonna be that's gonna be tight. That's gonna be tight if we can pull off a charm spell on it. We have to kill Rubino and get this. I don't see it happening. Not with our position here. I just I don't see that happening right now. I really don't. I'm gonna give this little gobbly dude a protect spell. I'm gonna make him a little bit, you know. <laughs> it's climate change, I guess. Although the climate's always changing. <laughs> climate never stops changing. I'll just say that much. Um, bio is hilarious. They use too much fossil, man. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna turn into steampunk stuff at some point. They're using textiles here, you know. They're using they're burning too much of Zora's flame. <laughs> Maybe so. <laughs> Maybe so. Oh boy. We could hurt or heal. I think we'll go for hurt. You know? Oceanic climate. 
It's more of a trop. I would say it's it's gonna, probably gonna have tropical climate more than anything. You know what I mean? I think that's likely the case. I'll just bring them out to play. Why not? Power Fist 5000. So here's the Nightmare's Kickback, of which I think they should just turn around and do a back kick, you know, like they used to do. I think that's what they should do, but they don't here. So, you know, whatever. Why do I feel the boars <laughs> acts like they're not racist and environmentally friendly? They probably send breads to work in the factories. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. You know, we just got through that whole LP with Norzalia with the co-op. And I gotta say, you don't find out who kills the king until after you beat the game. Which, I know that Brigandine kind of sort of did a little bit of that, but they kind of would tell you as you're going through the game, you're getting close to the end, they would kind of tell you what's going on. I was like, okay, so it's a, a really big teaser, you know, as to how you find out who, who knocked out the king, who did, who did the bad stuff to the king there, you know. So... Yeah, all the textile work. They probably have a bunch of ghouls doing all the textile work. Or something. I don't know. You know, I would I would kind of consider this to be more like an Ireland than like anything else. And if you've been to Ireland you probably know with all the fog, it's kind of rainy, kind of wet, kind of humid, kind of moist. Wisconsin's a lot like that too, but as an island with the storms moving so fast, I guess it might be hard to have snow stick because you, with you, when you have a lot of water, winds can move faster. When you got trees, they hold the wind back. You know, uh, structures and trees will hold the wind back, but if you've got water or just a clean slate, you know, wind moves very quickly. That's why, like, hurricanes hurricanes get so much bigger. Like, tornadoes and all that. Um, Orca Archie Star, you really need to play through multiple routes to get a good idea what's happening. And they did that with the original Brigadine game, too. But they kind of told you a little more as you're going along than all the way at the very end. You know, you, you would find out some countries at the very end. But I was hoping to find out stuff with Rubino a little bit closer to the end. Like, right at the end. Um, but actually finding out what happens to Rubino reveals what happens to the president of Gumol and the the hierarch of Manislesia. So Rubino's story will let you know what happens to two other countries as far as like what happens to their main leaders that actually does tell you that. So, you know, you get to kind of know that with completing that story which is actually great I got a 26% chance I don't see that happening I'm sorry that's that's lower than 30 now I'll go with 30% chances I know this sounds crazy but I'll go with 30% chances for silences and stuff with, with like hairy fairies and all that because that's kind of their average percent chance to do a silence or some really low spell 30% chances are kind of those percentages and I'll, I'll go with, I'll run with that but 26 it's a bit too low and I, I don't have any kill shots with Rubino right now I'm just gonna have to just gonna have to try to kill it off 26 experience let me look at your stats here your level your two we might I mean might is the definitive term here we might be able to kill off the dragon you know unless they're used to baking cakes <laughs> yeah grados loves those cakes <laughs> that's for sure 
Rear will only last half a year. Not a wise choice for manpower. Yeah, no. Isn't that something? So if, if you if uh, you see Grados anywhere and you're playing the game, just be sure to get you know to uh, give him what he wants. So maybe give him some cake. Why don't I eat some cake? He'll be happy. He'll be happy that way. Paralyzed wave. <laughs> These guys do hardly any damage. They barely do any damage here. Gobbledygook, go over here. <laughs> 18. <laughs> Yay! Yay me! Yeah, they kind of force people into doing their dirty work, which is not a very good thing. It's really not. Um... This will get you over here. I think the thing is, which still isn't good, but they don't really consider the Barretts humans. So because they don't consider them humans, they don't consider them to have any real value. Or same kind of value that humans do. So... Which... Wait, this thing's poisoned, right? Oh, it's poisoned. Okay. Ooh, that was almost a kill on that. There goes a gobbly dude. Whoa! She is getting creamed. We are going to have to do something about that. We got to do something about that, that's for sure. Oh, we don't have any more. Do you have, you don't even have that either. Yeah, they can't protest too long. They'll live for half a year. String them up on some herbs. Yeah, they're not... They're humanoid, but they're not humans, you know? So... That'd be a weird thing. What if we had that in our system? What if aliens came down and they were kind of like us, not fully like us? How do we treat them? Will we treat them like the Barretts? Because they're not the same as us? You know, it's not a skin color. It's literally like a whole different kind of species. You know, they have different powers. They have a different lifespan. They have a different... They're just very different. They're not the same thing, you know? They're not another kind of animal. They're just like another intelligent being. How would we do that, you know? With all the alien warfare movies we see out there, are we going to be more like Star Trek or Star Wars? How are we going to treat them? That's a good question. That's a really good question. Whoever has the answers for that, though. Can't scratch fever. Shoot. Soylent Green. Must protect Lean. She cries when she <laughs> she's wounded. <laughs> yes. 
She might. It might end up happening that way. Oh! We might level up. We might level her up right now. Or. Wait, how many levels does she need to go up? It's level 10. It's level 3. I think one kill would get her two levels. And she could level up from there. Okay. These little gobbly dudes could be the real alien here. I mean, just, just, just look at them. They kind of look like the aliens, don't they? The big eyes, big head. You know, kind of greenish. What if goblins from the past are really the aliens of the future that everybody's talking about? What if that's really the case? What if that's the case? Well, Gamal is the magic kingdom. Well, they say with the, the Gomol sisters, you know, and the magic sword, and the sword appears for the right person to help control it. It's almost like they're they're giving you this whole Arthurian legends thing with, uh, you know, with King Arthur. It's almost like the magic sword appears out of nowhere for the rightful king, and that is Eliza. She is the she is the feminine version of King Arthur here. It would appear so. She has a very special sword, you know? I'd have to say. Take out the elemental? Yeah, I probably have to. Where is it? Ooh, level 10. 92. Okay, let's level up. I has an idea. So if you're new to this, you actually get a flame spell with the Phoenix, which I think the developers took from one of the cross mods that I was I was playing as, but the other guy that developed the cross mod let the Phoenixes do a flame a flame spell, let the mermaids or the, the mermen do an ice spell, which now the siren has an ice spell. So I think they've been carefully monitoring and watching everybody else play the game and they're just taking ideas and they're like, that's a good idea. We'll put that in a new game. And then they put it in a new game and now we've got it so it's like now it's here so I think they've been watching very carefully like what do people like what do, what do you think they like oh, they kind of like this oh that looks pretty cool let's go ahead and do that and then bam just like that it was there you know I was kind of hoping for ice giants in this game I, I won't lie to you I know age of mythology has ice giants and ice giants is kind of like a typical mytho mythological lore there's flame giants, fire giants, ice giants, and all that sort of thing. But we got ice dragons in here, which is good enough for me. I'd have to say. I think that's pretty good. Kane is her Lancelot. <laughs> Let the girl dance. <laughs> she gets her dance on when they get wiped out. Elza, sour PIs. Oh, wait. Oh, Pedro, I think you did that wrong. I, 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 uh, I think you were trying to do an emote and it didn't pop up for whatever reason. Maybe it popped up on my stream, but it didn't in the chat. Kingdom Ruined, guess I'll dance now. Yeah. They, they want, you know what the thing is? They made Cortina, they made Cortina Queen Arthur with a dance preference. And now we got Cortina as a leader here. Which everybody was like, I love Cortina. I want to marry Cortina. Cortina's my girl, you know. And then now Cortina's the leader here. And she looks pretty good. I'd have to say if I had to choose Eliza or Cortina, I probably would choose Eliza. Maybe because, I don't know. I just, 
she has a pretty she has a good look and she's got killer boots man she's got killer boots that's for sure she really does they have feedbacks of 20 years <laughs> yeah they do ice flame jams have been cool a lot better than the cyclops we got i think the cyclops is going back to the greek kind of thing that they they did beforehand but i would say you got a good point which i'm gonna give him the pointy end right here too so i'm gonna give him a good point but yeah i think ice giant would have been kind of cool you know hey shizzler do you want to do something here okay just you just wait right there man just wait, just wait right there man you know that from finance cortina should have been a mascot character i wish she was a free knight in this game maybe as a dancer class because duh there's no free knight that's a dancer Really? I thought... Hmm. Ah, oh, you might be right. It works on stream. It will only work on chat if you have a browser extension called Better Twitch TV. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're getting rid of this... This, this dragon here. This dragon has annoyed me quite thoroughly. Four hit points? Four hit points? I could just move in and stick tap it. Do I have a heal though? Nope, I don't. Alright, I don't have a heal. If she gets frosted by Rubino, that would suck and I'd be dead. So I guess we're going to do a frost bill on four hit points. I could do an airy heal, but then I'd just be bubbling up. I'd, I would be healing up Rubino, too. So, that is a no-no. 60 to 81. Do that. I find it interesting. Like, I don't know if you heard me, but these little goblin dudes have the Aya Slash that the samurais used to have. You know what I mean? You know what? We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna flame attack uh, this thing here. So I'm shooting through a phoenix, so I'm not gonna do much damage, and he'll heal up. There's only six characters that are in the dancer class line at base. Three out of six are Shinobi, two Gamol, one. Oh, jeez, he crushed that little goblin guy. And one from Gustava. So what do you think of the Dancer class as the new ninja class? Because essentially, I know Treasure Hunter is kind of considered like the ninja class here, but it's really not a ninja class. I mean, you you can you can do steel and stuff, but the ninja class in the past didn't really have steel. It was just about like raw damage and evasion. You know, the new Thief class is sort of like... It's basically just a Thief class. And to start off, it's like you're playing Final Fantasy Tactics Thieves. Which the Thief class in Final Fantasy Tactics was pretty terrible to start off. You you really want to get through the Thief class as fast as possible. Because as you go forward, the Thief class gets so hard to survive as. It's so bad. And especially this game, when you get surrounded as a Thief, your evasion goes away. And you don't have any defense. You go down super fast. It's like, why would you want to? You know, I always question that. That you. <laughs> you. <laughs> Goblin challenges in order. If I had to create a character to be a dancer for Morelva, Morelva has tavern dancers like Jazz was. Morelva needs another female character. Well, you got Sophie. She's amazing as a mage. You've got Sophie, you've got Ratka. Ratka is an archer, which I did turn her into a dancer class. She's quite good. Her stats are really good. Morova has some pretty good knights, I'd have to say. 
and they kind of vary in in certain aspects you got umaro you got stella i'd have to say it's still kind of like i'm still leaning towards morelva but Grimol, as far as knights compositions goes is a close tie if not no just flat out number two morelva was a lot of or um uh Manislesia was a lot of fun to play but it really came down to Rudo. Rudo kind of carried a lot of things and everybody else is kind of struggling all over the place. You know, but Rudo and Emma together will just carry a team just those two got just those two. They're so good. It is pretty good. It's it's pretty decent. It's just when you get chained, your evasion goes down so fast. That's sort of where some of the problems lie. There's so many healers there, I don't know if I'm going to take it all out. So we got this taken care of here. Taken care of pretty good. Sorry, Santa Claus. Night is not your night. Six girls that are dancers are really good as well. Kate is the best. But Shinobi girls give her a run for her money. Yeah. Uh, Della. Which I have yet to play as Della. So I gotta check out Della. Which I have checked out Della. She, she looks quite strong, but I gotta play as her. So that's definitely a thing. Well, that guy went down. Alright, so she's... She's proficient, so... Let's get her a bit closer. availability yeah that would that would probably make it tough you know because see now that he's chained I can hit him so many different ways that that means that you you have to try not to get chained or if you change you got to break the chains very quickly you know in order to be able to do do the things you got to do
<laughs> yeah, she's quite available for the AI, though. So, AI will kind of do those kind of things, you know. They like doing that kind of stuff. Turn 8. Ain't it great? I think we're going to take Rubino out here. Oh, I can't go in a castle? Oh. I was kind of hoping to. I can't really get over there, can I? Gets her by season 10 and 12. Both Shuna and Anne are, are strong at played player invest experience into. Shumbi is the most annoying to invade. I'd have to say that's probably true. I'd probably have to say that's kind of true. Um, it's hard. If we crit, we can take him out. <laughs> Okay, what do we got with Kate? Level 19, proficiency of 3. I think she should basically get... She should basically get that. Okay, so she could definitely do it, but before we do that... Let's get some extra experience, how about that? Della has more MP than Kate. Ooh. Put Anna on a cooldown team with her dad, Renzi, and Skimaris up as a guest. Had them repeatedly invade MST and Morelva's castle. Anna is so strong now. I, I kind of thought Anna would be pretty good. I gotta say, trying to take down Nightmare is kind of hard. It's kind of hard to take down a nightmare. Okay, we're going to get through this level here. Alrighty then. Wow, we get stronger. Oh, we got the nightmare too. Fantastic. That's absolutely fantastic. Victories for my leader. I got this whole thing that I think Darian and Elza might have some kind of secret thing going on. I don't know. You know? Thanks, Shinobi. And there's it's so nice not having to invade those force maps. <laughs> Most Nova characters have extra MP and agility other than other factions because they're challenge mode. Because in story mode you get Della when you start to snowball. Yep, those are challenge mode stats. Nightmare to pair with Leanne's charm. Well, might be a good thing here. We got to keep our Man of Miracle little gobbly dude so we could, you know, get rid of some of the other things here. Go forward with life. Make things work. You know? So. I think we'll have to call the stream here. I think we kind of have to. Um, yeah, I think we kind of have to. Oh, I got some other stuff I got to do too. So... 
I got more stuff I gotta do tonight as well. I gotta work on some stuff actually. Which is unfortunate for, well, for you, in a way. But, um, wait a second. Hold on. Before we go, we're going to watch this battle here. Because we're actually going to get to see Tiny Tim, or Tim Gustav, attack two knights here. Selena and Monica with Ivan and Hazarov. I think Tim has the edge here. Tim is sort of the edgelord with this one here. There is, like, I don't know how many healers there are here. This Selena probably has just one. Tim looks like no healers besides Ivan the Terrible. Or Ivan the Not-So-Terrible compared to the old one. But watch this, and then we're going to close the stream out here. Uh, and we'll save the rest for later. Tomorrow, we're going to do something interesting. We're actually going to do some alternate chapter mode tomorrow. We're going to do a co-op alternate chapter mode tomorrow so if mike and raging paul are here we're going to start up with something like that and we'll have a lot of fun with a co-op alternate chapter modes you'll see us playing as different teams together you know tim is the most popular record according to the poll man it's only one <laughs> it's only one percent chance for the poll summon angel we might need an angel man so, I just want a man of miracle dragon. Is that too much to ask for? Well, you got like, uh, what is that, uh, Pedro? Like a 3% chance? 2% chance for a man of miracle dragon? I know, I spent, I don't know how much it was, but we spent probably like six to 7,000 mana trying to get a man of miracle dragon. It took forever. You need a big stockpile. Is she a cleric? Is she a healer right now? I, I, I think she might be. Oh no no she's not she is she is a wizardess. Okay, whose bet is on what? I'm gonna go ahead and say I'm gonna go ahead and say that Holy Goose of Empire has a seventy percent chance to to win here. So I'm going to say that. You can go ahead and say what you want, but, you know, we'll see who wins this. This little battle. For the return of Paul. Yeah. I was, we were trying to figure out what we are going to do, and um, I think that alternate chapter would be a lot of fun to play, especially since you can kind of pick your own characters. So we're going to play something. We're not going to play as Man of Celestia. I know some people are, like, wondering if we're going to play as Rudo. We're not going to play as Man of Celestia. It's either going to be between the Republic of Gamal or United Islands of Relva. Maybe even possibly Norzalio, if Paul really wants to play Norzalio again. But I'm going to heavily suggest one of those other ones there. And we'll play as an alternate chapter on Saturdays for a while until we finish that. And then possibly go with, uh, you know, maybe start up a multiplayer in the, the near future here. Top three most popular non real are, are Elena, Sugar, Sid. I'd have to say Sophie. Sophie, Umamaro, and I haven't really played Sid too much, but um, Sophie, Umamaro, and... Uh, trying to remember her name, but... Um, Maybe Shizzler? I don't know why. Maybe Shizzler? I, I kind of like the guy. 13th and Umaro was what? 4th? Sophie was 13? Umaro was 4th? Well, if you, both, if you add those numbers together, you're both getting a number 4. At least for Sophie. Shizzler was 20s. Where did they do this this poll? I, I didn't even see this poll. This must be something new that just came out, or I, I just didn't see it. Rulo's, Rulo's popularity, Tim, Eliza, Talia, Stella, Rubino, Rudo? That's crazy stuff. 
It was all in Japanese, though. So it was what Japanese players would consider that. See? Now, for American players, Rudo might be considered one of the best because he's the strongest. But, I don't know. <laughs> Monica, she didn't make the top 30. Disappointed. Uh, Monica's quite good. I think Aisha might be one of my other top picks. That or Emma. I'm gonna get a drink. I'll be right back. Go ahead and watch the carnage. <laughs> ものに容赦は無用だ。Mm. Path run problem. It's Selena on other side. Selena on other side. Yeah, she's kind of far back, isn't she? Oh, they got some high level demons there. Looks like it's going to be one big curse battle. I wonder, I, I wonder if they updated and sped up the game a bit, because it, it seems like it's a little bit faster. Like, as far as, like, movement goes. That are my con no, it can't be my controller, because I'm just, I'm plugged in, like, you know, I'm a wired controller now. You know? Selena was hanging out on the other side of the little <laughs> while Monica was facing Tim by herself. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Oh, geez, he is very low. Tim could get knocked out here. <gasps> he paralyzed her. He paralyzed her. Check that out! Check that out. He paralyzed her. He totally paralyzed her. Is that enough to get a win, though? She better swing for the fences, yeah. To do a cleanse? She, he did a cleanse. Oh, they tried to hit Tim in the force. It didn't happen. Dragon Fury. Oh, no. No, I was wrong. How could I have been wrong? He let his guard down. That's why. Well, she would have swung for the fences if there was a fence to swing for. They captured the Ark Demon. They captured the Ark Demon. Selena. Yeah. You did a fantastic job. You lured Tim out in the open and bam. You just took that down. It, I'm sure that would have been like a frost spell or something like that. Coming up here to finish things off. You captured a, an arc demon. Congratulations, Manislesia. Congrats. Sorry, Holy, Holy Ghost of Empire. <laughs> Oh, 
Ooh. I'll have to check that out. I'll have to check that out after the stream, though. Because I'm almost about to be done here. Manislesi has repelled Gustava in a fantastic defensive win here. I gotta retitle this whole stream here because I thought we were gonna go down here and do this more so, but maybe I'll start up next stream with this particular title I was gonna title it. So you won't know until next stream what the title was, YouTube. You won't know until next stream. So we're going down to Morelva here. <laughs> Rudo should say thanks to Monica only. <laughs> maybe so. But if you're watching this on YouTube and you've liked this so far and you like this kind of game and this kind of content, just leave some likes, subscribe for more. That would be very helpful. Join the Knights of Tregaria. There's plenty of us here. And uh, we are right now playing as Republic of Kamol. And Eliza is going to lead us to victory here. It's going to be a little tough because growing into the watery territory of Morelva with a lot of reds on our team. You know? Putting our feet in the water on the other side and getting paralyzed. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. So, let's get the battle started at least. I know we're like three hours in here. I think most people actually did like to see longer streams, but to try to upload them, it could take me literally like three to four hours. And, uh, that's a lot of time to wait to see how it's put up there. And try to get everything set up right and all that, so... Time saving wise, it's not very helpful for me. But I'm sure a lot of you liked the seven to eight hour streams I was doing beforehand. <laughs> Which I think some of you kind of did. But uh, we gotta cut this down. And also tonight I do have a do. I have to do a few things, so we'll have to close the stream out here. <laughs> no respect. Maybe it's because of Monica's uh, moniker. Maybe because, you know, she's sort of like the... Oh, man. I'm drawing a blank here. A need. She's sort of like the need, right? From uh, Monica might be very much like the need from the Scar's Empire. You know. Which I think some people were kind of down about that. Like they they put a lot of story and dialogue into those two. You know, Meltorphus and a need in there, but I think it was a pretty good dynamic because Semechus' story was kind of told, you know, he was just that kind of like guy that was going to fight just because whatever happened, he was just going to do it. And having like a young couple like work together and then you find out the story that happens later on kind of like drew out some really cool aspects about that. Made you really feel for them too, you know? Oh, this is a chance to Good try, bro. Oh, man. I couldn't fill that spot. Okay. Well, get around him, do some damage. He is red, he's level 18, quite powerful. 
I could get her in there. I don't know how good that's going to be. Now it's shared with a pull attack. I don't know if that's going to be a viable thing. But we could potentially take down this, this dragon here. We'll start all that up next LP episode, which will be next week. So I'm changing my... I'm changing my times a bit. I'll be doing uh, probably some fun stuff on Tuesday and Wednesday. I think Monday I'm going to break from, so I got some other things I can work on throughout the week because I'm going to be doing some other things for YouTube as well. So if you're on Twitch, you'll still get to see me most of the week. It's just Mondays I might break for to do some other videos and such. I do have a vacation coming up, which is going to be like 10 days long at the end of the month, so I won't be here for a while. I might let Raging Paul stream on my channel if he can even figure out how to do that he is he literally does not have the internet so i'll have to like set up a list of instructions as to what he should press and how he should do things so if he is streaming try not to mess him up because he doesn't know what he's doing um i don't know if he's gonna do it or not but if i'm not here then i guess just watch you know someone else i suppose but um when I come back, I hope you come back and watch me too. You know, I'm going to be doing Brigadine, but I do, you know, set out to do vacations and stuff. You know, a lot of other streamers, I don't think they do that. Maybe they do. I don't, I don't know. Hardly any see anybody ever go anywhere. But, um, you know, so, you know, you'll, you'll definitely get to see other people play the game too. So, you know, there's definitely other LPers out there. You know, a lot of people I know too and uh you know they do a pretty good job with what they're doing but um if raging paul does get the stream i don't know how much he's going to do if he does it but it might be interesting to see what he's going to do he might play grand edition he might play the new game i don't know he he they might play the alternate version that we have that we're probably going to set up tomorrow and uh we'll we'll have to work on that but uh youtube leave some likes please subscribe for more Thanks, everybody, on Twitch. Thank you so much for all the subscribes on Twitch. I really do appreciate that. And uh, for all the follows, too. But um, I will see you tomorrow for some alternate chapter mode. We are going to play alternate chapter. And it could potentially be three different people playing at the same time. So myself, Raging Paul, and Metallic Mike. So if you're interested in that, come by. You're going to see alternate chapter tomorrow with three different types of strategies. So they're all going to have their own characters because you start off with nine characters anyways. So, so three, six, nine. So you split it up in threes, and there you go. So we're going to try the alternate chapter, see what we can do together as a team, you know, <laughs> to get the win. And we'll pick our own characters and all that, and uh, it should be fun. So, all right, everybody, I hope you had a great time. Sleep well. I will see you later. I think if you're interested, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pop a raid here. I only see one other person that I know playing a game that looks kind of cool. Uh, got a couple people playing games, but I think we're going to go ahead and raid some Hill Home. So if you've seen Hill Home, Hill Home is, I think he's finishing up, he'll probably be finishing up uh, Republic of Gamol this coming week here. So if you want to see that, it's going to be like Monday or Tuesday or something, but Let's go ahead and raid him. So if you're ready to go ahead and watch some uh, Ghosts of Sushi, let me know. So if you want to see Sushima, Ghosts of Sushima, I keep thinking they're talking about sushi though, but they might not be talking about sushi. They might be talking about something else. I have to actually look that word up. But let's go ahead and start the raid here. So if you're ready to watch some uh, first-person action kind of game with uh, samurais fighting against the Mongol hordes of old, which I don't know if that even happened, but if it did, it's pretty cool. So let's go and watch some of that, okay? But um, that's all I got for you. So thanks for hanging out. And let's go uh, raid a hilly home over here.
Where are you going tonight? A beautiful creature just invited us to her enchanted forest. Take this opportunity to fly. You look, um... Thotty? Oh, I was gonna say hot. Make sure to check out Veracity's channel when you get a chance, my friends, ladies and gentlemen. The Veracity Trigger himself will soon be here saying hello. <laughs> it always takes a minute or two when you get done streaming to pop in. I understand that. I get that. I've been there. You've been there. We've been there. I've been there. There you are, Veracity. What's up, brother? Uh, let me just play this. Hang on. Give me a second. Oh, I was waiting for you. I was waiting for you, VT. I'm glad you're here. Yeah, let me just let me just pop this on real fast. Uh, there. We, oh, oh, I'm giant. <laughs> Holy shit! Yes. So victory I just will to finally be mine. Show you guys, I got a box. Look, it said Saginaw. We have to delete that out of the bot later. It was a box. Uh, and in that box is some stuff. All right, so we have inside the box. Uh, we have uh, this card. Ooh. <laughs> it's shiny. 